G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Valheim. I'm thinking today is going to involve a decent amount of building because the bridge has had much progress. And I think I'm in a position where I can make more progress relatively quickly. So the main arch is now complete, and I think it was complete last stream as well. But the first of the secondary arches is also complete. In fact, let's go this way to have a look. I should probably have my hut up so that I can see how much stamina I've got. Because that's awkward. Uh, so there were a couple of plans for today's stream. One is building this bridge. Two is prepping for, I think, the regatta next week. And then three might be doing some rescue missions for people who have had some unfortunate positions for their corpse run. Uh, yes, Glitch, you do run, you do die if you run out of stamina while swimming. You start drowning. Uh, but yeah, there's the secondary arch. The main arch. And you can see I've started the deck of the bridge as well. So that's at a 15 degree slope, which when you think about the stairs, they're 22 and a half. So it's, it's fairly gentle by comparison. I was afraid to do anything shallower than that <laughs> because you can already see how far it goes to go down even at 15 degrees. Uh, but you can also see something I've done, which is made these little slopey bits that lean to the pylons. I'm not sure how to do this one on this side yet, but figure it, figure it out then. Yeah, my hope is that 15 degrees will be easy enough for the carts that they'll manage to go through. The so you can manage to climb it, even if it's not easy. Thanks, Jalfers. Thanks for the prime sub. Also, thank you, Sergeant Dark, for your subscription two hours ago, before I'd even started. Alright. Boom goes somebody's raft that got left on the shore. So the plan for the regatta that I have uh, is to get the bridge finished enough that it is a nice, fancy-looking end point for the regatta. Um... So that people can go through the main arch, and that's the finishing point. Once I've done a bit more building on it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a portal. I'm thinking... It might be somewhere, like, just here. Because that's... On a raft, still potentially going to take quite a while to do. But... I think we can... Oh, maybe we go up here. So you have to go through this tight bit. Then round here, then back this way. Hmm. That could work. But yeah, something something like that. So basically, I'll have a portal set up here. Everyone will queue up on this side. Then they'll have to rush through the portal. With their materials ready to build their raft on the other side. There'll be a workbench there so you can drop your raft in the water, jump on it, and go. Also, the advantage of going from, say, here, or here is what I'd actually said, is that there isn't any ocean to go through. Um, so for the first regatta, hopefully we won't have people getting eaten by uh, serpents, unless we think that that's going to be funny, in which case we start over here, and people have to cross this ocean in rafts, and it'll be a bit of a luck of the draw who actually manages to survive. Um... Uh, I've got... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm torn on that. We might do a poll later in the stream to, when I before I start setting up the, <coughs> the racing camp. Because I think that'll be funny. Now, there were some people who talked about needing a rescue. So if those people are around, let me know and we can start organizing a bit of a rescue crew to go and help you collect your... Dead man's gear. Yeah, the 
the challenge with the rafts is the ocean is fun slash funny, but it's not especially interesting and traveling with a raft takes a long time. But that's kind of, if there's a lot of people on them and the server limit is 20 people, so we could have up to 19 rafts going. In fact, I'd probably ask if you're not in the regatta or directly involved in managing it, if we're getting close to the server limit, then please don't be on when we're doing it. Uh, just so that we can maximize the silliness of it. Wow. Oh, there we go. Now the wood appears. That was taking a while. Uh, yes, Black Shadow, I do have some feathers to spare if you would like them. I have slightly lost my voice because of um, going to a sporting event last night with my family and it being very loud and having to speak over the top of the very loud to talk to my nephews and nieces. So my voice is slightly croaky this morning. Just a bit. Uh, I've got all this wood for making the iron stuff. I'll put some iron in the cart too. Uh, it's not exactly a sport that I am invested in, so no, I wasn't yelling at the team. <laughs> and no, it wasn't karaoke singing this time. Here you are. Feathers for the lazy. Uh, what was I doing? Ah, that's the other thing I was wanting to do at the start of this stream. Nope. Nope. Yes. So. <laughs> you're welcome, Black Shadow. Um, one of the things that's really, really useful for people who are early on in their adventure through the, um, through the swamps is having a root mask because then they don't need to worry about poison potions and the like and it's actually really quite helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the roots that I've collected and I'm going to turn them all into root masks and go put them into the longhouse so anybody who's still struggling at that stage of things has access to a bunch of uh, to another, an alternative to the, wait, that's the wrong, what am I doing? An alternative to the poison resist meads. Because then it's a much easier process to have them. And I think I've got enough, I can make like seven of these. So that'll hopefully help most of the new people. And as they get better, they can upgrade it. Okay. You might have noticed when I went into one of these uh, boxes that I've got a lot of iron. I had to go and collect some iron off stream to be able to build the supports for the bridge. I've gone through hundreds of iron already. And you'll see why. I'll go drop these off at the longhouse and then we'll start going down to the bridge and doing some bridge building. Tame cats in this game if you could. You'd stack cats in game in this game if you could, Black Shadow. Pretty sure. I'm hoping by the end of this stream my voice is normalized a bit. Because I was down in Sydney, I got home pretty late as well, which never does any good job to my, uh, to my voice either. <laughs> You'd stack loxes. Fair enough. So for anybody who's still struggling with the uh, swamps, these masks are here for you. As a gift from the Jarl. There's a part of me that actually kind of likes my voice at this level. Because it's so much deeper than my normal voice. 
Oh, nice work, Black Shadow. Uh, <laughs> I, I really didn't expect you to go to all that effort to upload the Minecraft pack, but it's awesome that you managed to. <laughs> Thanks, Canada. Um, so who were the guys... Who were the guys who needed help with uh, collecting their death stuff? Are any of them on the server at the moment? Ooh, this is going to be heavy. So I've got a bunch of wood, I've got a bunch of iron, I think I've still got food on me, yep. Yeah, I think someone fell prey to a sea serpent. I I came on during the week and uh, helped TFE rescue his stuff from where he died to a sea serpent. It was actually kind of fun. Because uh, we faced another couple of sea serpents and had to murderize them as well. So I thought, if there's anyone ever struggling with recovering their stuff, particularly in a circumstance that's a bit like that, that it might be fun to do some aid missions during stream. The downside, of course, is that it's the stream is just after the reset, so it's not always especially useful for people. in there. Pop a chest up here for the stuff. Oi, Joko! Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I need several chests. Thanks, Melrong. Thank you for a year. Uh, glad you finally caught one of these streams. This has honestly been... Kind of everything I was hoping for from this server. Okay, so... Unfortunately it's dark, but what I need to do next for this bridge build... Is I need to... Widen... This support that I had running down here to this style where it actually sits directly under the rock. On the edge, it wasn't providing adequate support, so I need to have one row of these supports for each line of rocks going down, so we need to do this five times to go up there. Once I've got the deck built, or perhaps even before I get the deck built, I was hoping to work on the tower at this end. So the tower supports would be these two. And the bridge deck would be perfectly level to the tower on the other side. And I think that should work. <laughs> that raft getting destroyed is unsettling. Although, it looks like the Brute has finished it off. Oi! Don't you touch my cart, big fella. Come on. Come on, this way. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Nathanderol. Thanks for the Prime sub. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% not sure what the right way to do this is. I think I'll continue a bit of the deck, just at least so that I can build five across up the end here. And then start working out the tower from there, and then we can build this other bit as we go. I need to eat old things. Because I have a habit of falling off. It's 
especially at night. So step one is get more of these iron supports. Nope, don't fall there. Established all the way across. What have I done? Oh, I see what I've done. Got beams running from there that intersect there. I think. Possibly. And that should be enough for me to support the next couple of rows. Why are these offset? Oh, okay. Gotcha. I only need to build four of these. I see, I see. Yeah, it's proper Valheim engineering and proper scaffolding required too. Uh, no, Takari. Uh, most of this slope cannot be built up terrain, actually. Because the terrain can't be elevated enough to be part of the slope. I discovered when I was building some of the supports for the arches that there's a maximum height you can go as well as a maximum depth you can go from the terrain height. And I think it's 16 meters either way, is what someone said. Something like that, anyway. So I'm kind of forced into... Um, into doing this with full support, with full support like this. But the upshot of that is we're going to have potentially a hollow space in here where I can put a stone cutter, a workbench and the like so that repairs on this can be done relatively easily. So they'll be hidden in there and maybe even we can make a prop proper space down one end and for things to be put That's what I might do. Actually, yeah, that's that's what I'll do. If I go down here... And continue this line of things up. And then try and build the rest of this framework. It's actually going to line up really nicely to be the framework for the main support. Because I've already set up the distances on this part. So, let's... Match to that, and activate my bone mask, because annoyingly they're the same key. Oh yeah, yeah, good point. It is a good point for ship repairs as well. So if I do have the repair things so that they can be actually utilized from on a ship as you float through the, the gap, that's handy too. That is a good point. Now you see why I need so much I needed so much iron. I do wonder whether I'm gonna have to go and collect more today as well. Cause trying to get these supports all in the correct position uh, position and how many supports I need. Oh gets a bit crazy. behind. So I've got something to push up against. And then that. Thank you very much. I'm dead weight. Thank you for another five. Ah, thank you for a hundred gift subs. <laughs> thank you very much. I would love to go with you on an iron run. I really need to upgrade to an iron at gear. Um, 
sure, Black Shadow. Uh, I'm sure we can arrange that at some point. Even if we do it as a... Maybe an extra supporter stream at some point. Even if it's not today. Because I've got a place set up to go and collect more iron that's got... Um, a bunch of stuff at it. I love the fact that I have to do all these builds properly. Like I have to, I have to do all this scaffolding because otherwise I literally cannot do the build. Um, it, it's one of those things that I always feel like I want to do in other games, but never really do because it's not strictly required. And speaking of scaffolding, I need to build some. I can't get up there. Or can I? Get around this side to do this bit. Day 2056. What does that make it? Uh, we're like six years in. Oh no. Play strong. Oh man. I don't think I want to... Do... No, I do. That's fine. I can have these bar... The things going out to that far. That won't be a problem. Because there's the extra row. Because this doesn't actually go over the final part, that wall. This will come up as a bit of a rail or something as, as we go along. Uh, the stone piles are fine. Like, uh, dragged on. <laughs> they, won't, they won't be a problem. Uh, they will be depleted soon enough. They're actually kind of convenient being underneath there. Keeps him out of the way. Oh, I can't reach. I'm just gonna have to climb down. Oi! Leave my cart alone! Just too much junk. Yes. No. So... That's exa the love of scaffolding and the love of having to think through and problem solve for engineering of builds like this is a big part of why I did Survival Impossible with a broken jetpack. Because I really enjoy trying to figure out those problems. I find them to be fun. Doesn't Valheim sort of have a creative mode if you enable certain things? Uh, glad you got hooked, Kane. <laughs> I think it's probably apparent from the length of most of these streams that I very much am.
That's that one. Got one more. Oh, do you actually need a mod for the cheat mode? Well, that's sad. That one's at 10 degrees. That one's at 5 degrees. And now we break down the middle line. And we do this all again. Hope that I can pick up all that iron so it doesn't go to waste. Nope, no, 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 don't fall. Don't fall. I want to break these from here. Nope, uh, that. Oh, wait, I might be able to break these from on top. Yeah, and I can smashy smash from here. If I don't walk off the edge. I think, yeah. So these bits were orange before. So the support is so much better when it's directly under the block. Which, you know, there is there is logic there. <laughs> but it's one of those things that I don't always expect in structural integrity things for building games for logic to actually be followed. I might break these two bits and go and make my new supports there. Wait. Oh, that's right. There's a hole there. Uh, smash, smash, smash. That there, and then I'll do the rest. Find off that. So, despite the haphazard nature of all of the stuff that I've built down here, I have tried to optimize it as I go, like I just did there. Adding in bits to try and get it to be a little less hopeless. But it's difficult. <laughs> it's really difficult. Because it'd be, it's so much work to redo it. And if I'm like, it's good enough. I tend to just leave it. And another problem I have is sometimes if I built all of the scaffolding first, you then can't get the line of sight you need to place a block where you want it. So you have to build the scaffolding sometimes piecemeal which means it's much more difficult to line it up correctly and it all just gets real fiddly. So I've run into a whole bunch of different building challenges in the process of making this bridge. Uh oh, that's not the kind of hole you want to get stuck in. That have taught me a lot about building in Valheim, especially building stuff like this, big stuff. Are there any more bits in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, yes, Survival Impossible is being continued. Um, I'm not... At the moment... Like, for the next uh, week or so, I've still got family who are in the country who haven't been in the country for many years. So I'm focusing a bit on making sure I get time to spend with them until they head back. And then everything should settle down and go back to normal. With Survival Impossible, roughly every two weeks. 
assertive acquisitions every week, that sort of thing. And all the streams. The streams are just much easier for me to maintain while making sure I have time for the family stuff. Because, yeah, I, have, I haven't... I hadn't seen my brother since some pretty big stuff had happened. And not entirely happy stuff. No, there's nothing under there. There's nothing under there. Just seeing if I've dropped any more iron. That looks right. Which have I still got here? Still got 12 more there. It was weird uh, having to go out and specifically collect wood for these iron beams. Because I'd run out of regular wood the other day too. Yeah, I figured you guys would be very understanding of uh, me just doing my best to work around those sorts of things at the moment. Knowing that things will return to normal very soon. Oh. What qualifies as normal <laughs> for someone like me? Uh, that should be one, two, three. Just one more of these, I think. True, there'll be a degree of normal that will shift again when Mini Me arrives. Uh, but. Again, I think the initial phase of that will likely not be. Will hopefully not be terribly long. As in, I'm expecting uh, the initial bit to be a couple of weeks and then figuring out whatever the new normal will be with him around. Oh, come on. That was nowhere near close enough. And now they're stuck down there. Yes, 100% confirmed as a him. Eh. Come on, why won't you snap? Why won't you snap for me? You jerk. I'm fine. Oh, I don't have my... I need my hoe. Let's grab that. Take it back up since I'm going up anyway. <laughs> At least I've had years of practice since going back. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's more prep for... Uh, that's more prep for teenagers. Yes, I'm my toesing. I'm splitting in two. <laughs> There'll be two mini me's. What's that coming up here for? My hope. I'm just glad that thanks to you guys, I have a, I do this instead of working night shift at the hospital and then having to deal with those nights. Because if I was doing night shifts and having those sleepless nights that parents always make mention of, that's so much worse.
All right. I need to put another post in. <laughs> I mean, there should be some entertaining consequences of me being sleep deprived. I mean, think back to survival maybe and my issues with the goose. Um, that's a perfect example of me being sleep deprived. I get a little bit... I tend to get more loopy than annoyed, than frustrated. I tend to get it just a bit weird, which <laughs> this sort of thing could actually be good. Sleep trunk is best drunk because no hangover. I haven't thought about it that way, but yeah, that's that's valid. Oh, wrong way up. Splits his sheer deadliness in air combat while, when suffering from migraine. Yep. I mean, it's not a foreign thing for me to have to function while sleep deprived and having to remain... Capable of engaging with other human beings while at that level of sleep, sleep deprivation is not a new concept for me. For which I'm both grateful and also kind of sucks. Right, I need to build vertical supports under more of this. How many stacks of iron have gone to the bridge? I reckon I would have used up about... It must be getting close to 500 iron now. It's got to be. Because I've, yeah, I've used up a lot. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Healthcare also probably works, helps for other things like... Really not that fussed by random bodily fluids coming out of people. Which is something that children do a lot of. That's not to say that I expect it to be easy. I expect it to be very difficult. But, I feel like I've got some degree of preparation for the level of difficulty. I would not for a second claim that it's going to be anything close to easy. Kind of like a marathon. I feel like I've trained for it, but I think it's still going to be super, super hard. Can go across there. Oh, so on um on other amusing younger animals topics. As a as a sort of a dog Christmas present, I bought Charlie a bed. That's memory foam. She's decided that she doesn't want to leave it. That she likes it that much that she has actually been in that bed since 9.30 last night when my partner put her to bed. 
She has not moved. Admittedly, it is currently raining quite heavily outside, so there's not a lot of incentive to move. But she's still there. She's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. You can you can do your thing. You go out to your shed on your own. I'm, I'm happy here. Little jerk. Yeah, Taz, I'm also surprised she hasn't chewed it up yet. The only reason I felt game enough to buy it was on, it was on a massive discount on Amazon when I bought it. Cool. That should be enough support for the deck. So... What next? Which part should I do next? Should I try and just build the bit up the top, or should I build the whole lot and shift all these stacks and remove all this under bit? Hmm. I think we're the right way to do this. I think maybe I'll build up this wall and try and keep building it up and get an idea of... Uh, hang on. We'll go a bit further across. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. So... Build the support to get a bit of the deck going across to the middle of the arch. So I'll try and get the deck to the middle of the arch. I'll build up the stone edge pieces and I'll try and build up some support for them as well because they're going to need it. And then I can start building the tower because I kind of need to know where those edge pieces are going to be and where the walls are going to be and how that's all going to work so then I can get the tower hopefully right kind of early. Am I too far from a forge? Is that what the problem is now? Huh, no? Weird. I thought I couldn't build one of these. Ah, whatever. That's still red. So these are going to have to go all the way across, I think. Support the deck blocks. The bridge purpose is to act as a kind of... <laughs> let's, let's use some... Uh, what I think of as fruity language. The bridge's purpose is to provide an anchoring point for the village. To provide a feeling of, I have arrived, as you enter into the village limits. So it's entirely for looks. <laughs> oh, crush my... Okay, there you go. The bridge is how I walk home. Yep. Yeah, the bridge doesn't have a function beyond aesthetics and pride. Bridge is there to keep the Yarl busy. Yeah, it's to keep me out of trouble. I am your man, yes. Look upon my works and despair. Or, as Bender once said, Remember me. Remember me. So there's that too. So yeah, I've already used up a hundred iron this morning. 
that's how quickly I'm going through the iron. Uh, that's my... I've still got that to smelt, which means I'm going to need to go get some more coal. There's that bit there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, might be doing an iron run later this stream. I should probably go do some coal running now. Let's go do that. Uh, ditch the meat, ditch the leather. Ditch the dandelions. So Black Shadow, if you're still around in a bit, I might go off and do some iron running after I get this stuff smelted. Maybe. Still trying to figure out what the best order of operations is there. Made up at my place. Uh, maybe. Yeah, so if we're doing an iron run uh, during this stream, there will be a heavier Jarl's tax on the iron collected, but I do have most of the things set up to make it still probably worth your while. Oi! Oi! Uh, because it's for the bridge, I will probably say that I'll be taking maybe half the iron we collect, and then we'll divide up the rest amongst everyone else. Just so that I can actually collect enough to make it worthwhile for the bridge. Because I do, as you see, go through an excessive amount. Yeah, to cut- um, who said they said that? Zuriel, uh, the 21 iron in this chest in here? Wait. What? Someone got rid of my sign! Oh, someone got rid of the iron. Cool. Uh, I put a sign up here. I collected some iron from, uh... I used the wishbone. I was curious how much iron you could get f just using the wishbone. I collected a bit and went, You know what? I can't be bothered sailing that back. Uh, here. Somebody have it. <laughs> it's free. So I put a sign up saying, Free iron. Hey, at least I've set the tax expecta expectation ahead of time so that people know what they're in for. Hmm, that's quite a lot of drug. Uh oh. Now. Oh, it's night time, that's why it's busy here. I was like, has the spawner come back? Also, I did see that wraith. Where did he shot at from? Oh, Skelly. How rude. Oh uh, yeah, I'll get I'll get some of this smelting and then yeah, maybe we go off and do some iron collecting because I do feel like I'm gonna run out during this stream at the rate I'm going. Uh, I have a place for us to go. It has a number of crypts that I have already identified the location of, uh, so we're pretty good to go on that front. I should have brought my poison resist, but I forgot. I hope I don't die of poison. Ow. Oh, that's not a good combo. I only want one of you at a time. <laughs> Thank you very much.
There we go. Both dead. Yeah, as in I did remember to make the helmets. In fact, I could probably make another one. Oh no, wait, there was ten per. Oh, let's get my shield up in time. Speaking of poison. Do not have resistance for. Yeah, the Silver Sword's great against rats. I mean, the Silver Sword's great against the swamps. Just on the whole. Oi. Oh, it got me. Alright, fine. You're just gonna die. I'm already poisoned. Yeah, the silver sword you collect from the mountains, and as is common in Valheim, the thing you get from the next biome works really, 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 really well in the previous biome. So, it, I, th I feel like that is a very deliberate design decision that they made. As some of you may have noticed, this particular portal, and I've mentioned it before, is exceptional for collecting coal. And certainly cause. Oh, you can definitely break the progression order that's expected, but I haven't really felt the need. Other than my lock's cape, I haven't really broken the progression stuff. Yeah, I wonder what the origin of all the silver thing is too. Was it some silver salesperson trying to drum up business? This silver will protect you from all of the monsters. And by the way, my best friend, this garlic farmer, says their stuff will protect you too. But you need both. Till the Industrial Revolution, silver didn't tarnish, so it was uncorruptible. Eh. Fair enough. I mean, we now know that silver has good antimicrobial properties and stuff. They didn't even understand microbials at that point. Oh, looks like a double lot died in this one. So one of the things I've also noticed about collecting from the Sertling spawners here is if you go across both of the, um, the causeways, by the time you finish the second one, the first one's already respawning. So you can have a second crack at it if you've still got carrying capacity. <laughs> oh, Wodash. Wow. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's some logic there. Have you seen any monsters around? Maybe it worked. Maybe that's why they're not here. Also, for anyone looking for Sertling cores, I apologise for throwing them out. But they're just heavy and I don't need them. Eh. 
Uh, laws, that's true sometimes, but not all the time. There are a lot of things that weren't noticed for a long time and were attributed to something else that was coincidentally present. It was fascinating watching some of my younger nieces and nephews yesterday and just how ridiculously obsessed humans are with uh, with identifying patterns in the world. Alright, how much have I got? I've gotten 127 coal. That's not too bad. Gonna need a lot more than that, but... I don't like to spend too much time grinding up, uh, grinding for coal, because it's not that exciting. Uh, the Victorian era was full of very strange things <laughs> that happened. Uh, you know what? If anyone wants them, I'm going to leave the settling course here. I've watched some fascinating videos on um, the various things from the Victorian era. It's deeply unsettling. While similarly being darkly humorous. So apparently potions can go on item stands, so I need to make a potion stand over there at some point. Oh, hey, Black Shadow. Sitting on top of my fermenter. Throwing coal at me? As a... Am I... Am I... Was I naughty? Are you Santa? You hope you're not Santa. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Too lazy for that. <laughs> Can't argue... Why you wouldn't want to be that. Where was I putting the guck? It was over here, wasn't it? Well, I mean, considering I don't have any other seats, yes, the fermenter probably does make a fine seat. I do not need a hoe when we're doing this trip. Probably. Probably should bring a key. That's what I meant to do. Dang, I forgot. Oh no, wait, I've got some. Doesn't matter. Uh, I should grab my helm. I'll pop the good one away. Alright, so if anyone needs iron and is willing to accept the Jarl's tax rates, uh, please meet me at my yurt. Willing to accept the rates, but I am a bit of a way away. So, where we're going is down here. No, wait. It's over here. So I have a portal, and there are at least six crypts to clear. So we're going to be sailing back with several longships. 
I filled up an entire longship with just two of the crypts. Uh, so we'll sail back and we'll land on the shore of the of, of my palatial grounds. Call it an expedition fee. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, let me just bring my parts for my long ship with us. Yeah. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's throw some let's throw some iron on the Barbie. Uh, Criminal Jelly, I'm... We're kind of at the point where myself and a few of the people here would be able to probably go and defeat Moda, and it wouldn't be too big of a deal afterwards. Uh, but there are plenty on the server who would uh, I think find that difficult. Oh, I put too much in. Try not to overfill, because it just makes it annoying later. It's kind of convenient that I've got s space for 60 of these. Uh, and I'm slightly deliberately not letting the motor buff be a thing before the regatta next week. A little bit on purpose. <laughs> do do do, chuck all my coal in. too far. Oh. No. Uh, won't be long, guys. Just got a bit more stuff to put away. Get the show on the road. Done. All right, so those who are ready to go, let's jump on through to. Actually, I'll just leave my boat here. So the bridge iron one is this portal. Let's hope. Let's head through. I've built a little hut on the other side with a little bit of storage, but we're probably going to need to add to that storage. The portal is in my yurt called Bridge Iron. And this is the little portal hut, which I decided to do something slightly creative with. Because I can't help myself. <laughs> oh yeah, Black Shadow frames, glorious frames, yes. Uh, before we start heading to one of the things, let's just create a couple more storage containers. Yeah, yeah, Tex, you don't you don't need to come for the iron unless unless you need iron for something that you want. You can and you can always join us once we're midway. I've not been pedantic about timings of how long people have been in each thing helping because I feel like that's too much work. We pay by intent here, not by hours worked. Oi! That's really inconvenient. Jack, go away. 
No, come closer now. <laughs> now go away. Oh. Yep. Punch the wood. Punch the wood into the leech. Uh, those of you who don't have a root mask should really get one. Especially since I put them in the thing. Because yes, this is a meadows leech. Oh yeah, I guess we can just put chests outside. Just gonna do something like this though. Guess it's a bit more inside. Oh wait, the chests outside can be used for other stuff. Okay. Um, that's probably enough wood if you guys are happy with that. Let's start, I reckon, with the two crypts two crypts that are off to the east. So we follow the coastline around and we'll get to the, the first of them. Zuril, we got Existence, we got Vox, and we got Black Shadow. And then we got me. And Kratos is on the way. Oh. Uh, you guys keep going, I'll deal with this. If you want. Although these are Black Shadow's favorite enemy. So much more health. Overconfidence. My name is me. There we go. We took it down. <sighs> Yeah. Tex, I reckon I reckon you're doing the right thing moving the farm. Maybe just have a portal from the... I'm assuming you're having a portal from the tavern to your new farm and having it far enough outside. And we'll just get rid of the... Maybe we could just plant, like, the onions as decorative flowers. Like the onion seed onions. Uh, some people are going to be unhappy about this, but let's get rid of these spawners because I think it's just going to make it real difficult for people to join us. Out. There are other spawners we can use that are in less iron rich areas. Sweet text, yeah. I think I think it'll be much better having it back to boardwalk sort of area. And grassing the bit under like right up against the longhouse. Alrighty. No. Number one. Come on, abomination. You're not gonna sneak up on us when we're just inside. The other one? Yeah, that's the other one I've marked. I should have blocked that. Okay. 
Oh, good. Poison resist potions for those who need them. Uh, in we go. And let's switch to some light source, even though there's a poison thing there. Ow. You shouldn't get changed in the doorway. Okay, we cleared all the bad guys that can get us as we go through the doorway. Yes. And we've conveniently got a chest just to the left of the entryway, so we can put all our iron in there. Nice. Now I can put my light on. One thing I started doing when I was doing these solo was actually going through and clearing the whole place, then going back and mining everything. That's quite a few drugs. Oh, no, bad wrong, bad wrong. Uh oh. Torch intact. As I just stab the torch. Whoops. It's ten in this one. Okay. Uh, grab those out of there. Pop them in the other chest. Back in the other room. This game needs a sneaky tools mod. Hmm. I should eat my sausages. I haven't eaten my sausages. junk. Grab the coins. Bits the people have missed. Get a pedantic one. Nothing up that way. Next one. People taking some very inconsistent patterns <laughs> through these things. I have a thing, I just always go left. So I don't miss anything. This is a dead end. I don't know why everything's flickering today. All the rubies and the coins and stuff are on the ground are flickering for me. Just to be that bit cleared. It's empty. That's empty. This is all done. This is a pretty disappointing crypt so far. No, I have not reset crypts again. These are just some ones that I knew the location of. Is someone already taking the iron back to the to the place? 
Probably not a bad idea. Wow. This is a disappointing crypt. Either that or it's just been a while since I went into an iron crypt with this many people. <laughs> Got how quickly it clears. Alright. Uh, check to make sure if this is being picked up. Yep. Okay. Guess we go to the next crypt. No, I knew my way out, Ilya. Jeez. Always turn left. You'll eventually get to the exit. Oh, you've been putting the iron outside, I see. Alright, uh, if people want to escort me, I've loaded up with all the iron. There are wraiths ahead. Drop and pick up again. My stamina to come back. Probably should have gotten a rested bonus. Help you guys with these, I guess. the iron. Um, are any of you guys carrying iron? Because if not, we only got 122 out of that one. Carrying 37. Okay, cool. And 15. Alright, yeah, that's more like it. A bit of a 160, 170, something like that. Oh yeah, I probably should put the mask on. I'm always torn, because I, I, I like you guys to be able to see things. <laughs> In fact, maybe I can do a little bit of this. Nope, that's audio filters, don't want that. That might be better. Designated torch bearer. Yeah, that's an option. I mean, there are enough of us. We may be able to just carry this stuff as a group. If anyone has carrying capacity left. But if you're going to be overloaded, don't, don't pick it up. Just pick up what you can before then. Looks like the rest of it got picked up. Man. Oh man! I have to go all the way around this thing. Just can't jump. Uh, the process of mining in a group. Uh, Werewolf, and if you've got room, there's another six over here. Alright, are we all good? 
mine glitched in a way that looked like derped out birds. Hmm. All right, if we're good, let's let's head on. Did people die to certain thing called thing? Who's not good? There's 30 sitting there. What? Ah, oh, the poison. Yeah. Alright, I'll pick it up. Oh, it looks like existence has it. Were you able to carry it, Thor? Or no? No, okay. Alright, I'll just stay in cupboard. Well, if some of you guys that are fully loaded up but can still move, if you guys run it back to the hut, then you can come back and grab more from me. That's probably the quickest way to do this. So if we just do, like, one person carries the big load and everyone just keeps taking from them and going back and collecting more. Right, that looked like everything got picked up. Yeah. Hell yeah, you really need to make marks of things. <laughs> when you go through a portal. <laughs> as someone who has no sense of direction, it's really important. As in I'm talking about myself with no sense of direction. Yeah, it's working. It is making a difference. I was just checking if the, f the filter was actually making an impact. I need to remember to turn that off. Can people please remind me to turn that off? Because it's really annoying when I go to record something and there's all the terribleness of it. Alright, pop all the iron inside. Pop all the non-iron stuff outside. Way too many chests outside for... And there's there's enough chests inside. Last thing we'd want is a chest to get destroyed with iron in it. Alright. On to the next crypt. Got one of five done. Coming to daytime. Go plan. Although, actually, maybe the whole time I'm in the swamps, I should leave this on. It does wash it out, but man, it makes it easier to see things. Oh dear. If the chest with iron got destroyed, it may hurt your feelings. If, oh, you can't read that one. I can't figure out how to read that one so that the pun isn't completely ruined. The server doesn't exactly use iron up per week as such. I think it's more... The issue is more that uh, for what is currently happening, I'm building something that requires a lot of iron support. And the next tier of equipment and building still requires iron. So I think 
probably between between now and when we fight Moda, or maybe after we fight Moda, I'll do a crypt reset again. Because I think we'll really struggle if I don't. Puns become too prevalent, you'll need to organize a filing system. I was expecting a magnetism pun somehow in their text. I don't know how it would have worked, but it was what I was expecting when I started reading it. If it did get destroyed legitimately, legitimately, I'd just say, oh well, Ferris fair. <sighs> oh dear. Uh, Neens, the use of worlds just for farming is an absolute no here. We've got a mod on that stops people from bringing characters from other servers on it. Specifically for the purposes of keeping progression to this server. So... That is a definite no. Oh, it is so nice not doing this on my own. Not least for the fact that my iron pick still hasn't worn out. Uh, there's the R2 mod manager thing, which has a search function for downloading mods in it. That's how I've been getting them. There are sites like, um, Nexus mods that have Valheim mods on them as well, I think Nexus does. I don't think I'm going to get that bit. Ah, there we go. I got it the other way. Means there are very good reasons I don't want people to have access to bringing stuff from other servers. It would completely break any sense of progression of the community on this server. If everyone just went to another server and collected all their best level Mistland stuff and brought it in here. There's no way to prevent that unless you just prevent people bringing stuff to the server altogether. makes it more fun as a group because we actually get to progress together rather than some people just being completely able uh, like effectively ignoring the whole lot all right uh, I accidentally over encumbered myself I'm just gonna walk back to the entry. I'm going to get pushed back to the entry? What? I can be pushed? <laughs> I can! Why do I get the feeling it, that people are going to enjoy this? 
I don't need stamina. I'm just getting pushed. <laughs> you guys pushing me the right way? Oh no! There you go, just push me near that chest. And I'll drop it in the chest. <laughs> I'm like the most irritating cart ever. Oh yeah, the exit's just through here, isn't it? Yeah, so this is probably the chest to drop stuff in while we're clearing out the rest of it. Unless we've already cleared out the rest of it. I've already cleared the whole thing. Uh, looks like we have. Okay. Uh, have we cleared the chest? We picked up all the iron. There's 22 on the ground. Um, if nobody's encumbered, let's... Nope, uh, someone's throwing iron around. Oh, that's how we should do this! <laughs> um, <laughs> we should fill up the chest next time, all just stand in a group and have one person throw iron at the group, and we'll automatically pick up as much as we can carry. Alright, let's go. Get my resting buff. So I keep forgetting to get one. Oh, is there more out here? Because I've got room. Oh, there's heaps out here. Alright, I'm full up. I'm going to rush back and I'll come back and help if there's more left. So I genuinely think it's quicker for us to rush back and forth with minimal load than have someone hard slog it. Because the terrain in here is not friendly for no stamina. That's probably like 300-ish iron. We've got what? How many people here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. <laughs> there are 10 people here today. That's, uh, that's a lot. Back in a sec. Oh no. Just saw a message from Pav that his internet has died and probably won't even be fixed by the time we'd normally stream grounded on Friday. Wait, it's Thursday. Alright, it's Thursday. <laughs> totally lost track of the day of the week. 
Uh, I got all confused. Yeah, that's tomorrow. That sucks. Don't mind me putting these away. Why did I bring the bones back? Ugh. Bring the bones. Useless. Pointless things. So, <laughs> as much as I feel a little bit guilty about saying that the iron tax this time is so high... Uh, oh, sorry, box. Okay, wait. Anyway. Nope, no, you've got... Nope, nope, we're doing the corridor dance. Um, there is also the fact that I did set up this camp down here. And we... I feel like the bridge is a community build. Maybe? No. no. Apparently the leeches don't think I'm tasty. Oh, now they do. Holy moly, they are so much worse. And there are all these people around. there. I felt like my health went from 30 to 0. Did I, have a, did I only have 6 when I ate? I thought I had... Th oh, did I just misread it? sworn I had like 30 health and so I was like oh yeah just quickly eat huh oh what am I doing running out here that was whoops That death sucked. <laughs> oh, I'd been trying not to die much. My my skills had been getting like decently high, but it's dying. Take out my anger on the boar. No, the boar's gonna take out its anger on me. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, have we cleared all of the iron from the two crypts that we've been to so far? Because if we have, I can show you guys where the next one is. Uh, Werewolfen, you, you guys look like you're at... You've just been at that crypt. Is it cleared? Okay, so they're all cleared. Uh, next crypt is basically due north of the bridge iron one. Uh, bridge iron portal. Apparently someone's digging up some... Uh, some underground iron here. Why not? unfortunate thing about the scaling of hit points for the enemies with number of people present is that I actually think the ideal group size is three. The larger groups actually make life harder, not easier. Obviously not against the bosses, but against... Um, Oh, 
Like when we went to the plains last week, it was so much harder because everything had health, so much health. And with the fuelings especially, because they fight with numbers, it makes it exceedingly difficult. bit further. Over toward the ooze over here. Oh, actually that makes total sense. That's what I was meaning to, ma meaning to say. So, Bosses are easier with more people because it's only a single enemy, so the damage done by each of them is... Because I think the bonus only in, increases against... Um, it only increases hit points, doesn't it? It doesn't increase their damage. The scaling. So, having the fuelings last for longer means you can't cut down their DPS as quickly, making them more dangerous. Whereas a boss, you can't cut its DPS down anyway, so it makes, seems to make less of an impact. Four percent. Oh, it does increase damage. Okay, maybe it's just less noticeable with the boss. Oh, abomination outside. screen out of the corner as a dragon ran by and thought it was very sad to out because of its health bar. I'm almost sad now that Draga don't get to wear hats. Okay, so there's a there's a box outside for everybody to put their iron in rather than leaving in the chests inside the thing. Like I have Stand back and not be in the way. George. That way, alright. Bit that bit out. Does scaling actually cap at five players? Huh. Maybe it is just the lag then. Maybe I'm entirely wrong and it's all down to the horribleness of lag. Okay, I want to be underneath the thing. I need to get through and up. Uh oh. There we go. Use my head. <laughs> Done. Oh, he hit me before I hit him. Abomination trophy, whoever dropped that. Uh, if your pickaxe broke, load yourself up with iron, rush back to the portal, hop through the portal, and go repair it in my yurt. Would be my advice.
30% health, 5% damage increase. Going all through here. Oh, that's the exit. Okay. Not too long to go on this one. So we've done that one. We've got sort of... Let's have a look at how much iron we've got. Because we might have enough to do a decent split. After this. What hit me? That guy. Two minutes ago. Yeah, definitely feels like that. Oh, okay. What if I ditch that? Yep, perfect. Alright, last person to leave the chest, as in once there's nobody else standing around here with you. Yell out... Like using the slash s command whether there's anything left in the chest when you leave because then someone who's gone before will head back three hundred and sixty two at the hut okay no iron left in the chest here perfect. Okay, we're starting to work out a system. <laughs> the more the more systems like this we work out, the more I think we'll use them in other games as we play more servers and stuff like this. At some point, even though I think it's going to be potentially somewhat of a disaster of a thing to do, but at some point I really am going to have to try out Eco as a server game. Obviously, that one will not be... You wouldn't be time-limited each week, I think. Because your eco limits you in other ways. Nope, stab the rock. Got... Ah. Uh, what? Uh, I think we got more than 362 here. Wait till we finish. Go in there and have a look. <laughs> yeah, Zeriel. There's a whole other like 120 or so in the box on top. So, like, we're getting to the point where even though there are 10 of you and even though the village is taking a 50% cut, people are still going to be walking away with 50 ish. Think? No. Be less than that. I can't do maths. 30-ish. Alright. Now we... There's junk in that one. Iron in that one. That's full. That's full. So... That's 300, 600... Six hundred and forty-two. We've collected so far. Um... Alright, let's... Let's do one more crypt. So I think one more will be enough for us to probably pretty close to fill up two long ships for a turn. So if everybody's ready, I will lead the way because I've already got it marked. 
And I have to mention that. I feel like I have to mention that. Because if I don't have a map marker, I don't feel like anyone would trust me to lead the way. To anything but disaster. Okay, maybe adventure. As well. Always lead us to a map market and disaster. That's valid. Thankfully it is daytime now though. Oh, abomination. You guys can see the, probably see the thing by now. The crypt we're heading to. Badly poisoned. I am real badly poisoned. Huh. Glad I noticed that. That. Time, although it might not be enough. I think I'm going to die. Yep. Oh, I forgot to change my mask. Oh, that's why. Oh. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh, come on. Wake up, man. Jeez. Uh, why am I like this? Ugh. Is right the hole in the ground someone's dug? That might have even been me. Ah, more! Yeah. Assume someone else brought a key with them and it wasn't just me, otherwise everyone's just gonna be standing outside the door waiting for me to come back to get my stuff. Uh, those of you off to the side, that's an extra crypt that you found. The one that I was thinking of going to was the one over where the bulk of people are. The two people who are off the side. We've just woken up an abomination. Yeah, eco is the world is ending, but you can't die from, like, being attacked by things game. I really wish there was a mod that made animals actually do you damage. Because then I would love eco. 
It was just a bit... When I was mucking around in it on my own, it was just lacking a bit of that personal threat that I like to have. I know it's against the philosophy of the people who made the game, but they don't want that, and that's fine. I just wish there was a mod for it. into groups. <laughs> yep, what could possibly go wrong? The best move, smartest thing you ever do in a horror movie is split up. Cover more ground. Everybody knows. the work song. <laughs> Wish I was more musical so I could come up with something off the cuff for that. But I'm not. change that while swimming. That's the end of this branch. Man, that bitch just doesn't want to get hit, does it? Just people fighting a blob. Empty chest. Empty chest. Not empty mud pile. It's the eye and the tiger. Treasures. Alright, I'm full. I'm heading back. I'll be back here in a moment. Hopefully. So, a few of my, a few of you might have noticed that during these streams, I I do let my wine my my, my wind monda. My mind wander uh, to concepts of other servers I might consider in the future. Uh, don't take that as any indication that I'm planning for this one to end soon. I'm still having loads of fun with this, so I've got no plans on wrapping it up in any reasonable, like, <laughs> in any short time frame. I've, I've got plans for this to go for quite a bit yet. But I like talking and thinking through the ideas for these things so that by the time we need to run another one they're really well formulated and hopefully uh, it means that the experience that we do get once we get to that point 
is something really cool. It's the iron of the tiger. It's the iron the tiger. It's the run of the night as we strive to meet the requirements of the builders. Yeah, that, I can see that works. Laws. Yay. That's full. That's not. Let's pull all this stuff out of here. that through but I think clear this one out and then we should have enough space for the rest of the iron that we're going to collect yeah zero not I really do hope that the server holds up till mislands yeah there's still one more crypt there, there are actually two crypts that are within range but we'll just hit one more because I think it'd be ideal if we kind of fill up two long ships rather than partially filling three and forcing three people to sail back. Uh, I feel like it'd be better if we can kind of reduce that to just two being needed sort of thing. I don't know why I took those seeds. Someone else can have those seeds. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was picking up. cart and swim back. Not from there. No. No bad. Bad idea. <laughs> I need to repair my tools. My sword was getting a bit, a bit questionable. Chest is empty. Nice. Oh, well, let's hit that last crypt. Oh yeah, with this many people we might be able to load a ship's crew with up with the any additional iron if there is a bit. So if that crypt's empty, next one. Hoping for a for a beehive. So that one's cleared. I kind of love the look of the swamp when it's got the sunlight from the meadows through it. I kind of wish that that was possible, at least occasionally when you're in the swamp. Ah, uh, that's how deer sound. They have a bark. I was weirded out the first time I heard that in Medieval Engineers. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, that, that's really how European deer sound. Cool. Day I learned. For the, first, for the first swamp yet, no abomination. Uh, and no bad guys on entry. It's 
this ideas of the evolution of human humans after monkeys. Uh, no, they're the evolution of octopus after human after monkey. Oh, that's a lot of blobs. One downside of people with the big swinging weapons like the Akia, no torches survive. use for it anymore. Pushing me? You you pushed me! I didn't push you in, Black Shadow. That's how laggy it's getting. <laughs> it is, uh, it's reached that point where no one knows who pushed who. But everyone thinks it was everybody else. I have fun in these big groups, but man, they get janky. Hang on, hang on, hang on, Black Shadow. If, if anyone has to take revenge for pushing... I feel like I should be the one taking revenge for pushing. Shouldn't I? Someone pushed me off a treehouse. <laughs> okay, looks like someone's cleared out this bit. This part. Already done this part. Sure. Yeah. It wasn't pushing, it was punching. Is that. Should I be concerned that you feel that that's better, Black Shadow? Oh yes, using machines to push me around. I can see it coming. Ah, ran you through! And you! And you die to my silver. Glorious sounds of work all around. Uh, I'm full up. And there's some iron on the ground around here. vacuuming around here. I think you need one of those fancy wet dry ones. 
The glorious sounds of work runs away. I did do that, didn't I? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, this one's big. Alright. Uh, I'm going to take my load of iron back and I'll return. So I think we're going to need to... A couple of people are going to have to do double runs this time. I can find my way out. Nope. Yep. Uh, is the server legit full? It looks a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it probably is. Fills up at 20. So. After we get these ships back, I'm going to go do more building on the bridge. Then once the bridge progresses to a level that I'm happy for it to be the finishing line for the regatta, we can start <coughs> setting up the starting position for that. Thanks, Phantom Builders. Thanks for the Prime Sub. Happy New Year too. Your Valheim server has been one of the best multiplayer experiences ever, so thanks for the great content and the fun community. The fun community makes a huge difference. The people that have come together for this, it's been awesome. Uh, so we've got food, full of iron, full of iron, full of iron, and then this last one. It's mine, and I'm going to throw the rest of the stuff outside. Thanks, Caper Jack. Thank you for six months. Other people can take this stuff if they want. Okay, go. After eight. Yeah, it's 100% the people you play with. Well, it's not 100%. It's like 90... 90% the people you play with when it comes to multiplayer games and them being fun. If you play with good people and a, a game that would otherwise be... can otherwise be pretty bad can actually be really fun. Like, for example... Um, for supporter sessions, I've hosted games in GTA 5. You know, one of the most toxic games <laughs> I've ever played. And it's fun. It's genuinely fun when you're playing with people who are just there to have fun. The jankiness doesn't matter so much because you're distracted by everyone laughing at all the ridiculous things happening. Yep, have fun and shoot out tires. It's just... Yeah. So I, I feel very fortunate that the people on, that have come together for the... This server have been just so good about everything. Alright, have we cleared all the stuff inside? Clear. Let's 
clear and that's empty and that one's empty too. Yeah, GTA 5 roleplay, that's an interesting beast. That's a real interesting beast. I've I've actually I did figure out how to and I got a GTA private server up and running. Uh, but then I realized that all of the mods are focused on that RP stuff and that everybody sets up those mods so that you basically have to treat GTA 5 like a job. And I've played EVE. I know, I know that that's bad. <laughs> I know that's not a good thing. So I immediately balked it and went, maybe I'll just host little sessions to play it. Yeah, it's, it's all very much set up around grind, grind, grind. It's all very MMO-ish. EVE Online can definitely be fun. But I don't feel like I can ever play it again. It is too dangerous for me to pick that game up. Alright. Unless Vox has actually managed to pick up something from that. That's this place clear. Let's check the chest outside. A roleplay Space Engineers server would be... interesting. Um, but the server would still die. Waiting for people to finish with the chest. Doo -doo -doo. Then I'll head off to I'll head off and grab the actually. I'm gonna leave you guys to collect a lot of this stuff, the remaining bits, and I'll go get the boats set up. There's still probably another three or four people's worth of stuff in the chest, of iron in the chest to be brought back from that last crypt. So, TF76, that's kind of what Scavenger Hunt series was. It was a roleplay server where we had game masters operating things. Um, there is a serv there is a concept for something in Space Engineers that's a bit similar to that that I want to try out eventually, but the reality of a roleplay server is it really ends up only being a fun experience for a few and a lot of work for the rest. Convenient not having stamina. <laughs> Hurry up and die. Yeah, finally. those there so I can go through the portal and not have to wait around <laughs> in the queue <laughs> my issue with Eve was that I have no idea how on earth you would make it into a thing that is um a light-hearted experience. Because it's really not set up to be. Um, and why it would need to be a light-hearted experience is so that people who don't want to live their lives in a game like that can still have fun. 
And I just don't... I don't think Eve's got it. That depends who you are, Takari. Adding a cap act can make things not a lighthearted experience. Actually, it depends on the game. <laughs> I think Ark was a lighthearted experience when there wasn't a cap act. <laughs> when, when I was just solo streaming it, it was much more lighthearted. Alright, there should be parts for a long ship down at the dock, I think. Let's go check. See if anyone's moved it already. If not, I'll just make up enough for another long chip. Oi! You're not supposed to be able to spawn here, you jerk. Breaking the crafting bench. How rude. I haven't broken the armor stands yet. Boathouse. Nope. People have taken the bits. Oh yeah, I love the marketplace. And I reckon now that Tex has gotten rid of the farm here, if I bring the cultivator over and turn this back into grass like on the other side around the base of the longhouse we can continue the path through here Uh, does anybody who's been helping with the iron thing have the parts for a longship or know where the parts for a longship are? Hmm. I thought that was just lagging, but it just didn't, apparently didn't register my key press. Otherwise, I will just turn 10 more into nails, but if I don't have to. I've had no response from anybody, so I guess I will. Check by the bridge. Where by the bridge, though? I have to go into people's houses to find stuff. Ah, whatever, it's only 10 iron. Leave my longship is with my corpse. Ah, uh, it's okay, Seb. I've already um, I've already made the nails, so it's fine. It's probably not a bad thing for me to have a pair of the materials for a pair of longships anyway. That's the Jarl. Ten more thingies. be really interested to see how this regatta works out. If at all. <laughs> uh, would someone mind breaking that log that's in the water there? Because I think we're going to need that space clear for the long ships. Uh, Morpixon, you may need to 
jump to the other side of it and push it towards the lands to be able to chop it. Yeah, there you go. First ship. Just move it up river a little bit. Maybe. The game lets me. So, it is possible to navigate out through these waters. Um, Bjorn, you're going to have to jump off in a sec because I need this to stop. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Offload into the boat. And then jump off. Quickly, come on! <laughs> I, need to, I need to stop this thing. <laughs> I can't stop it while there are people on it. We have two long ships. Let's load them up. I think we're going to have to load up personal inventories as well, as best we can. That one's empty, empty, oh maybe not. Cool. Alright, all the iron's out. Uh, if you guys are overloaded after you've filled it up, try... Um, you're going to need to offload because I don't want anyone to be overloaded while they're on the ship on the ships if we can avoid it. The reason being if, if you... Although you're both on the front ship, I can make someone else. Like, I'm not carrying any iron. I've got space for at least 30. And the risk of throwing it out now is that now it goes to the bottom of the water, Werewolfen. Which is why I don't want people overloaded on the boats. So I can't get that last bit. It's down on the bottom. Yeah, I know. I, I know. That's... With the with them being full, uh, let me get over here before I run out. Stamina. All right, I'm gonna drown. I hope that didn't pop through the terrain just then. Right, are both the boats... Let's see if the front... I'm just going to check the boats. <clears throat> I 
Uh, so everybody remember, please get off the front boat until I have gotten on it and have control of it and have no lag. Because I don't want the choppiness for stream, it's really unpleasant for them. There's still room for at least another 40 in the second boat. Have we got any more iron in the water? Can I do you can... <coughs> Sweet, you picked up 120 from the water and I think um, Werewolf and got more. Alright, I have... Uh, loaded up. I'll see if I can carry this back across the water. There might be something in the water there. Here, wasn't it? I saw something. Oh no, maybe it's just the wind. Should all be back on the other shore again. <laughs> Whoa, dragon on! Thank you so much for another 25 gift subs, you madman. Ah, oh, does anyone have room to carry like five iron? Do you have 50 weight capacity? You do, Ilya? Excellent. There you go. Grab that. It just fell in the rock. You got it? Sweet. Okay, somebody, somebody get in the back boat. Also, dragging on seriously, dude. How many does that add up to now? Three thousand two hundred and sixty-five. Uh, the path out of here is a bit tricky, having sailed at once. So. Someone who's confident with their piloting will need to pilot the second boat and follow me carefully. The year? Only 25. Yeah, still, Dragnon, it's not only 25. 25 is still huge. It's massively generous. <laughs> also, thanks you, thanks the Onaton for the Prime Sub. And no thank you spam caller on my phone. My phone is conveniently telling me it's a spam caller. Um, I'm not seeing the other boat move. Is everybody on here loaded up to near near their max carry capacity? Got an encumbered man standing on it. Ah. Uh, Kaneda, maybe if you hop out and go and pick up the... Because a hundred... If you've got a hundred space, you can carry ten. Because it's 10 kilos each. So if you guys go back and grab that and help them carry the stuff. And my, this boat is choppy now. Oh, Bjorn! No, the stamina! Oh, that was close. <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub, Bjornaton. Okay, the boat's moving. That's a good sign. Ilya, are you safe there? 
You look to be still swimming. I hope you've got enough stamina. Nope, your health's going down. Oh, just. Uh. Gobi, I think you're leaving people behind. You need to head back. They weren't ready to leave. There's still three people on the shore. Well, I'm I'm le I'm the leader, so I have to be in front. So I didn't want to reverse into the boat. I didn't want to be the reason we crashed. You're very welcome, Meonaton. You're very welcome. Oh, that's not ideal. That abomination is attacking the other boat. And there's a slime attacking the people on the shore. Thanks, Falcus, Vipus. Thanks for the Prime Sub. Alright, I've arrived. Have we got all the iron? Sweet. As soon as you guys... I checked I thought I checked all of the things in the house and they were all empty. Did someone drop some off but I hadn't seen? Please be sure to keep all arms and heads inside the boat at all times. If someone falls overboard, please remember just remain in place and the boat will attempt to turn around and rescue you. We might need to destroy that thing. Before it destroys the house. It seems to be wandering off. Nope, it's coming back. I think Ilya's about to have a mishap if it attacks the house. With a tree. Uh, if there's 48 more, I'll I'll collect that another time. Don't worry about it. I th Like, I think we've got in a seriously massive haul. But those who can... Maybe hop off and try and kill that thing. Because a lot of those arrows are hitting the roof. <laughs> Thanks, Blue Set. Someone has fallen over by Don't help him, it's too late. No, not true. Because everybody's carrying iron. Also, wow, the arrows from Vox, in, on my perspective, have a weird trajectory. They're kind of like curling sometimes.
It's not bad just sitting here, but if I get off the boat, I lose my pri uh, my priority on the boat. Ah, oh, Gobi, you made it back. Hey, I made I've made no claims about anything except for the stream being number one priority, and it's kind of fun watching people fight an abomination in the distance. Um, Gobi, if you just suddenly jump off the boat, it will come to a complete stop, and then you can jump back on. Rather than getting stuck moving back and forth. Alright, uh, someone with a repair hammer, please repair the boats before we leave. Uh, and it might be worth splitting up and having a few people on Gobi's ship as well. Because otherwise the lag will be abominable. And Existence and Vox, you guys getting on board. And it looks like someone's still wandering around out there. Morpixen, what you doing? Boats are leaving. Chop, chop. Oh, you died. Oh, no. Yeah, that is a fail. <laughs> that is a very valid, very valid excuse. <laughs> Oh, even more so. He's got iron. Alright. Existence. Morpixen. Existence. You're the last man. Get on board. Come on. Chop, chop. Knights have fallen. Nope. Everybody else on board. Okay. Let's go. Serial. Get back on board. We're leaving. Okay, I was really hoping not to do this at night, um, but apparently we're going to be cha driving through this ridiculously challenging channel at night. So there's that. <laughs> there you go, the circlet is definitely helping. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, we're gonna need a need those repairs on the ship. There are rocks we're going to hit going through here. Uh, it's just the way it's gonna be. And it's not too far back home from here. So it's just heading north through that gap. Uh, but Gobi, as best you can, try and follow me because I've got some vague memory of how I got through this the first time, and then got back through this the second time. Alright, so how much how much iron does each ship hold? Eighteen stacks per hold. So that's five hundred and forty. So that's a 1,080 in just the ships. Oh no, I've got the jitteriness. No, this is going to be horrible. Uh, I mean, Gobi's about to impale us, so... There's that. Um, but yeah, I might need you guys to hop off. Which is really unfortunate tonight. Um, Zuriel, Canada, please. Okay, hop back on. 
I'll pull up at one of these big rocks out here, but I'll just keep going through the channel now. I think it all went weird when someone opened the storage on the ship. So the moment that happened, it all went real sideways. Uh, I think Ellie's hopefully hopped on the other boat, but if not, we'll stop up ahead here. Best way out that I found was through this bit. Except I got snagged this time. I just to make it through last time. Um, yeah, so I guess what we need to do is once someone's on the boat, nobody else open the boat. <laughs> now you're all good, Ilya. You're all good. Maybe it's like... It switches the priority when you open the storage. Maybe that's caused our problems in the past. So, Gobi, if you head through this bit and keep a little bit off the sandbank, you should be good. Ish. Then, it's relatively clear sailing from here. Maybe Splitsy try opening priority, opening storage to get priority back. Yeah, maybe I'll try that uh, once we've... I've got priority at the moment, so I think I'll just leave it. But if it breaks again, I'll try opening the storage and see if it fixes it. Other team are having Wraith issues. Oh no. Yes, they are. Could be worse. That could be us. Wow. Did the boat just sink? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's so bad. Alright, everybody get ready to jump off. I'm going to pull up alongside this rock, but everyone jump off to the rock to the... On the starboard side. Yep. Go, 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 go. Go, Zeriel. Jump. 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 Jump, man. Jump. Oh, the lagging. All of the lagging. At least the cargo floats. Ow. Should not have jumped in this quickly. Come on. Wait, Wraith. You want me? Come on. Take me. Oi, big jerk. Over here. No. Now. Yeah, now. Now take on someone your own size. Yeah, that's right. You can't handle the pressure. Now. Okay, I shouldn't have done that before I had stamina. So the bits of the boat won't float, but the cargo does. So we have to be really careful to not let the iron get to the bottom. So what we need to do is build a... Build a... Come over this side, guys. We'll build a a bench over here, some storage, and we'll start putting all of the stuff into storage here. Then we'll rebuild the boat. Hang it. Six... Big dude. Oh, one star, big dude.
We got a chest built here yet? No. No crafting bench either. Ah, cool. Alright. Crafting bench constructed. Let's get another 10 things. And let's get a couple. We probably need two chests, so we need another 20 wood. Apparently there's a wraith guarding the portal. Oh, delightful. This just keeps getting better. Well, the wraith's going to go away in a second because it's almost daylight. Alright, I've dumped my iron in the chest. Dump your iron in the chest and let's try and get the boat bits back first. Don't worry about the crates. We can collect them after. Let's get try and get the boat bits. Gonna need a diving board to get those nails, I think. You got him? Sweet. There's a little rock here where I'm at if you're running out of stamina. Just be careful not to overload yourself as you collect the iron. Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't eating my stamina food then. I think I forgot which one I was running out of. Do this safely rather than quickly. Um, you're right there, Zarya? <laughs> yeah, don't overload yourself because you can't get up this hill if you do. So why do I have coal wood? Let me drop down coal wood. I don't want coal wood. Uh, so... Yeah, does anyone have the deer hide? Oh, rush. This expedition is going swimmingly. Yes, we are having to do a lot of the swimming. A lot more than I thought we would need to for this. Got up here? Nothing. So, okay. Kanedo, do you have everything except for the deer hides? Yes. Does anybody have the deer hide on their dead corpse? Uh, yes. I've got the deer hide now. Kaneda, I'll bring it over in a sec. I'm just going to ditch off the iron first. Then we can start. Then we can build the boat. Then we can start filling the boat. <laughs> and then when everyone else returns... They can sail back, and we, we can sail again. And it's daytime, hopefully, still when we try and leave, so that we don't get attacked by wraiths. Here you go. Here is... Ah. Oh, can I... I'll put it, in, I'll put it in the chest so you can pick it up, because if I throw it and it's too far from you, with you in your... state you're in. Won't be good. Ah! Boat on my head.
No, 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 don't drive the boat! Don't drive the boat! <laughs> Just leave the boat still! I was <laughs> encumbered! Everyone jump the boat! Quick, before it crashes into the other one. If you can. <laughs> the comedy of errors that comes from boats. Uh, it's hilarious. Alright, Vox. Your... I took your... Your iron out of your corpse. Grab werewolf and iron as well. I'll put it in this chest. Is the... Is the second boat full? Uh, whoever's over there? Whose name tag I can't see. Because it's too far away. <laughs> hmm. This goes on your permanent driving record. <laughs> Shouldn't be any iron sitting on the bottom. There was like boar bits and stuff like that, but I didn't see any iron amongst it. All right, uh, everybody. Did anyone answer me about the boat? No one answered me about the boat. Zuriel, can you check the boat for me, please? And. Give us a yell out if that second boat is full or not. And if not full, how many slots it's got left, so I'll bring it across. It is not full. How many slots it got? Three and a bit. Okay. Uh, everybody go back over to the chest and fill yourself up as much as you can. Oh no, I'm... I'm stuck. Uh... Werewolf, have you got room in your inventory? That should have gone in your inventory. Can you pop it in the boat? Or did it not? How much have you got room... room for? Because I need... I need to throw off about another 60. If I can throw 30 at a time, this works. Alright, alright. Is it not getting auto picked up? That's annoying. It's not landing on the boat, is it? Um, Bjorn, please don't be at the helm of that boat. No, no, I can't turn. I've run out of stamina entirely. Alright, I've got to throw off another 30. Someone be ready to pick it up. In front of me. Out right for my inventory. Let's go see what's over here and see if anyone's picked it up. It, <laughs> it is such a herding cats thing. Oh, it looks like this is all cleared up. That's just rubbish stuff that I don't want. Cool. Is anybody encumbered? 
There's some more under the boat. Ah, oh, there he is there. We're going to need to sail the boat forward so, so that we can jump off the rock and collect that. I can carry three. Make that four. Take another one. That's where we're all good. Uh, have we picked the iron up off the bottom yet? No, it's still there. Okay, what I need someone to do... I'm just going to throw this 30 on the ground so I can jump in the water and grab that. Because I need to have my inventory empty up to get the auto pickup to work. <sighs> Didn't work. Hang on. We need to make sure the water is clear. Uh, people can take lots from it and can be on the boat with that, but that's a really good way to end up with a whole lot of iron at the bottom of the sea when that person dies, if they fall off if through lag or something else. Oh, Merpixon got it. Sweet. I've got space for 30 iron if someone needs to offload some to me. Looking at you, Canada and Vox. Are you good? You're just wet. Picked up 30. Other way. I'm throwing that away. I'm throwing that away. Okay, we finally... Are we finally good? Alright, all aboard! Now remember, the second boat is facing the wrong way, so you're going to have to reverse out. So go backwards, don't go forwards. Uh, unless you want to go the long way around, that would work too. But I would recommend going backwards and steering your way out. Thanks, Dieselus. <sighs> Thanks for nine months, Ghost the Sniper. Let's wait out here for them. Make sure that they don't get killed by another wraith again, as it is coming into the uh, end of the day. And we've got a journey ahead of us that includes a little bit of passing through... Oh, no, it's Black Forest. It's not Swamp. I was worried that bit was Swamp through there. Good thing you have all these stray cats to haul all that useless scrap around. Uh, they don't appear to be moving. Oh no, now they're moving. Maybe? Oh uh, yeah, we are going backwards. I was trying to get closer to them to see what was going on.
<laughs> I'm so curious what's going on over there on that other boat. Aha! They've made it out. Now they can turn around. No, I should not lower my sail. And you drive then. <laughs> uh, you guys probably don't want your sail up because we're going to be going straight into the wind. Launch, we might be able to just get it. Little bit of attack. Um, Serial, why are you dying? Oh, wait, you were eating. Like, why are you dying? I'll wait for them to catch up a bit, just in case we run into a serpent. As I've probably got most of the anti serpent force on board this ship. a mutiny. Nah. We don't have mutinies around here. The mutiny might happen when people remember about the tax level from this trip. <laughs> that might be when the mutiny happened. Yeah, I'm. I'd like to. I'd like to try and um, get some harpoons. Oh yeah, you guys have all the rubies, coins, and chains you collected. I'm happy with that. Alrighty, sails down. Let's go. Full sail ahead. Got a bit of a trip to do. So the wind is in a favourable enough direction for us. Oh yeah, I know there are rocks. There's nothing we can do. Just gotta hope. Just get through them and hope. Take too long if the wind helps us get at least up to this coast. I do love sailing in a fleet. This is why I'm really looking forward to the regatta next week and having, you know, 15 people in rafts all sailing together. What I also need to find out um, from Nev is if the server's set up in a way that I could give myself admin spectatory type powers so I can fly around and have a look at things because I think that would make it much easier to get a good view rather than having to sail around on a long ship and try not to hit people. Serpent behind. Okay. You guys keep full sail. Catch up.
can throw my spear exactly once. Ah, oh, we look to be in the clear. Now we're sailing much closer together. This makes me happy. I I feel like Nev's told me that he was flying around at some point to help recover stuff for Tex. Um, he was doing no clippy stuff, so hopefully it is possible. I knew that some of that stuff not is supposedly not possible on servers, but my plan for getting the the fancy screenshots and videos of the town was to activate those things in a single player save conversion of this save. Favourable winds continue. fly but failed to clip through the ground. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so if he can fly, that means I can fly. Perfect. <laughs> I wish I knew which button I hit to make me stand up so I know not to hit it again. Serpent left. Uh, we've got enough wind, I think we should be able to just pass it. Sorry, Serpent Port! To use those proper nautical terms. Trying to give enough room as we go around the headland to the north here. Should be relatively clear as we come through. What's port and starboard in Norwegian though? Fair point. Seb is waiting up ahead on the bluff. Uh, I think Seb's gonna possibly, maybe, be able to see us at a great distance. We're gonna be swinging around this way. Sandbar was hard to build out to mark. Hmm. Imagine. The traditional Viking welcome of a fire and arrow. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the the Viking fire arrow was more of a farewell than a welcome. I wonder what that means for us. I can't believe we've had favorable, favorable winds this whole way. Oh, keep right here. The sandbars are on the left. Keep close to the dock that you can see as you go through this section. Keep forgetting it until the last minute. But I've wedged myself on that sandbar a few times. I'm going to go nicely through like that. Heaps safer.
Good wins in exchange to a ship sacrificed to a wraith. Yeah. Alrighty, so as we land on the shore, let's offload into chests. Um, and then we can work out how this is all going to get divided once it's all offloaded. Grub Thar's hammer, what a haul. There you go, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted that to do. What the heck? Who built this on my land? Alright, let's start filling the chests. <laughs> oh, I love the Top Gear style arrival then. Perfect. I'm just gonna point out, you don't need to throw stuff off the boat, you can reach the storage from on the, from on the ground. That's why I beached the ship. Throw more, I've got space, Canada. Also, please don't dig up my land with your wishbone magics. Someone already did that. There's not actually anything down there. I just covered over the thing. Because I hated the ugly mess that someone left in my lands. Alright, I'll be back in a sec to collect the other bits from my other boat. chest. Cool, that's loaded up, ready to go. Alright, so what we're going to need down at the docks is a chest for everybody who was involved. So we're going to need 10 fresh chests, all separated from the one, like, all visually separate from the ones that are there currently. To make it easy to know which ones are the ones that have been divided up into. Oh, what? Stupid rock. I didn't see you. I'll put my thing back on now. There you go. I am Rudolph. Maybe put the ten chests... Yeah, wherever. Just... Not right next to the existing ones. Because that makes it hard. <laughs> empty. 
Uh, yeah, Kratos, what I'll do is we'll have the 10 boxes here and I'll just leave them here and anyone who's not here, at, who's run out of time, um, can just pick their stuff up later. Or I'll move it to the front of the yurt at some point. Okay, so we've got full chest, full chest, full chest, full chest. And partially filled chest. Anyone who's still got iron on them, please put it in this end chest here. Uh, put the ten chests right here. Right where I'm standing. If anyone's got the wood for that. And if you need more wood, just chop down these trees here. That's fine. I'm just going to go put the parts for this boat back. Not a boat, it's a ship. It's definitely a boat if you're trying to annoy someone who is into ships and boats. Started getting chests. We've still got those ones there. Has everybody dropped off their iron? Because it doesn't look like they have. 300. 600. 900. 1200. And 30. Have we really gotten even 30? Maybe they have. <coughs> okay, so 1230. That means 60 per box. Sixty after tax, which I think that's not too bad. I would say that though. Ah, uh, we're missing some people. There were <coughs> hmm. there were ten people at one point when we were digging in the mines. Chests are full, pick a chest, and it's yours. And the rest of this iron goes towards the bridge. Cool. Thanks, everyone. That will help a lot. Oh, that's true, Kane. We might have lost the odds and ends when this thing sank. Or maybe someone had a little bit on them when they ran out of time and logged off. Uh, no, I've been deliberately using the crossbeams out of ironwood to provide extra support for anything I put on top. I could get rid of a lot of the crossbeams, but... I haven't put vertical supports under all of the crossing points, so um, 
I can't use coal wood because coal wood doesn't support stone, so it doesn't do anything. Um, I do get that it would be more efficient if I did it better, but then it comes down to can I be bothered? It's a lot of time spent to do that. <laughs> like a lot. No, don't use the cart. Open the cart. No, the, the core wood won't save two rows going up because it doesn't support stone. And I need support under every single rock as it goes up. Did I finish this? Did, didn't I? Yes. Thanks, Overlord. Crisis. Thanks for the Prime Sub. Get up there. Let's get this cart out of here. Get some of the iron on board. Hopefully that will suffice for getting this bridge built. Anyone have a few minutes to help kill Ike there? Sure, I can come kill Ike there. Let's roll. This won't take long. Assuming Ike there's still at this end of the village. They are, right? Uh, who who wanted that? Mavelite. Yep. All right, I'm heading. I'm. I'll be at Ike there. You bring the deer heads. This is going to be an entertaining fight. It's going to be a very interesting fight. Will I be a one-hit wonder? Maybe. Oh, hello. Whose house is this? You do need to remind people that there is a 12 by 12 limit for the houses. <laughs> I just noticed that someone's very carefully with their landscaping tool followed the glitchy surface here. Because that's terrain glitch. That's not steepness that's creating that. That's very, very nicely done, whoever did that. If they did it on purpose. Oh, is that the gardens text? Oh, okay, so that's the farm for the thing. Gotcha. Well, that's good. I still feel like it needs to be reminded, because there are a lot of houses that are a bit bigger than they probably should be. For example, Plumbius's water shack is 19 by 13 or something. Uh, so needs to be trimmed down by a good chunk. And Tex, was that was that you doing this path, doing it intentionally? This, it does seem like a Tex thing. Uh, it's twelve by twelve panels, so it's twenty-four by twenty-four meters. As in, it's twelve of these. So, with the water shack, I'm probably going to trim off the bit that interferes with the path coming through here. And when Plumbius wants to, they can build a bridge over that bit, but just keeping it nice and wide for the ships to make it easy to come in. <clears throat> the 12x12 12 12 rule was just to keep it fair for everybody. 
All right, Mavalite, let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> Turning off stream now. Oh, wait. Oh, I've brought the wrong helmet. Oh, well, whatever. Come here, you big ugly deer. Enjoy, Mavalite. <laughs> oh, you got a you got a um, thingo out of it too. Trophy. Weirdly enough, that's kind of how quickly the first one went, isn't it? With all of us just beating down on. On Ike there. Uh, did you get enough for a uh, pick? Hey, Mr. Wolfman. Showing off you with your lantern. Your Mistlands lantern. Three hard antler. I don't know how many you need. Do you... Do you have enough to do another thing to do it? Spawn another one, just in case. Oh, there we go. Looks like Vermithrax had some anyway. First ones were just most, I <laughs> think, yeah. Hitting the fight button and hoping that with lag you hit. <laughs> this is so silly with a silver weaponry. <laughs> there you go, Mavalite. Go grab the bits. Oh, no, we got another one coming in. Pickaxe only needs one antler. Ah, so we can probably stop doing this now. Ooh. Like they're on a rock. And that health bar goes down quickly. Oh, my work here is done. Bridge building. I keep getting distracted from bridge building, so... I'm gonna do some. Guarantee I'm actually gonna do some now. Come and check out the garden. Oh, okay. You twisted my arm, Tex. You twisted my arm. Alright, so what's the deal with the garden here, Tex? So you got turnips, onions, and carrots in three separate plots. And then the seed plots over here. And not in the middle of Lagsville. Cool. This is actually a quick way to get back. Oh, Black Shadow. Um, yes, I do want to go with with you and hunt some locks because that actually went well with just the two of us. Uh, but I want to... Let me do some bridge building first and then maybe uh, just the two of us can go. Because, yeah, more than two was problematic as we discovered. You've logged off though, haven't you?
I'm I'm good, Tex. I'll. I've got um, quite a bit of food that I'm slowly eating through. Grab some more meaty food. There we go. Grab some more shoop. Yes, no tunnels with this bridge, and no time lapse with this bridge. Though I've been trying to remember to take um, take pictures of the bridge in various states of construction, so we, I can do a little uh, bits and pieces sort of montage of its slow through construction state. I think I use the bone mass thing more when I'm building than when I'm actually fighting. Don't get out of the hole. Placed it wrong. No, I'm not going to use black marble on this. I actually want this to be stone. I think it looks better in stone. I'm personally... I prefer this sort of building material than the sort that I, that tower is made out of for my stuff. I like I like this look. It appeals to me. Yeah, yeah. The fog's gonna look awesome when the bridge is finished. Bridge and fog should look pretty cool. Like, I mean, for a big structure like this, I think having it be made out of heavy stone just gives it that extra visual weight. Um. And being made out of a material that's more familiar, I think, helps with that as well. Because we just inherently know that that stuff is heavy. Also, no way in, no way am I ever rebuilding this again. <laughs> nope, that's not right either. That's right. That's not right. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna... Uh oh. And that is why you eat while building. <laughs> that was quite the fall. There will be torches along the bridge, or braziers, depending. But yes, there will be lighting on the bridge. Okay, I might uh, fix that up. In a second. Zero days since last accident. Yep. Yep. All a lot. Ah, oh, one too much. So yeah, they'll be lighting on the bridge. Uh, Dragdon suggested something the other day that I think I might be able to work with, uh, which was using dragon heads as part of some decorative elements on it. 
and maybe seeing if I can hang a brazier from the head so that it's got a... so that the head's always underlit. Um, got to see if that's possible first, though. May not be. We're not sure. But I think it's an, inter it's an interesting concept to explore, though. <clears throat> see if it can be done. No, 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 no. The, the heads I'm talking about are the decorative ones. Uh, these ones. The wood dragon adornment. Okay, let's go... Need to be, how am I going to manage where this is? Well, Mavalite, you can put the any extra um, antler bits, I guess you can put in the longhouse for the next person. That should work out reasonably well. Just need these for snapping. Oh, there's no... <sighs> nuts. Oh, this is all very... Disorganized now. Just shoving bits of iron in everywhere, hoping for the best. So what I thought I would do as the first bit of this was try and get the supports all the way across to here. I'm going to build the flat platform of the bridge and then we can start work on the tower. Um, no, I don't want to put torch pylons into Mark the Channel. Because that's just an extra thing to crash into. <laughs> Weirdly. Um, like I don't I don't think it helps enough having something there when it becomes a hard edge to hit as opposed to something not quite as hard. I'll be marking where the bridge edge is because it is hard. Um, <laughs> but I don't think I want to go out and mark the whole thing. I really want to take up a cart up there and slide down the iron supports. Well, Black Shadow, if you want to, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> I'm going to watch you, but I'm not going to stop you. Also, I don't think it'll make it very far because you'll hit the crossbeams. Start the game now. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna have to move all these stone cutters and forges and stuff up onto the bridge deck because I'm getting out of their sphere of influence. That looks right. Next row in. It was kind of cool um, doing my sort of research for this build, where I've looked at a bunch of different medieval bridges trying to see which ones I like the look of and which elements to incorporate into this build. 
And the fact that I even had to do that was kind of fun in a way. Got all the stone out of there. Let's go grab some of the piles. Did I just leave my cart somewhere out there? I did. It's down there next to the chests. Might want to eat. Good point. Thank you. Falling from up here hurts a lot. <laughs> Especially when you miss the water. Alright, so that's the extent of the flat surface on this side. Now, what I need to do is figure out these bricks and supporting them going higher than the deck height so that we can build an archway going over the roadway. <laughs> investigation of the server that shows that my bridge is the reason it dies. That would not surprise me. There are a lot of objects in this bridge because of the way I've been doing the bricks. Because they look so much better this way. Totally worth it, I say. Totally worth it. Stone again. It's totally worth it until it's not. True. I don't I don't think this will kill the server. The server doesn't seem to be what's struggling. It's our clients that struggle more than the server does. No, oh, I don't have my home, I do I? To get, I need to get something in beneath that, but I can't. Uh, hmm. I just realized I probably should put another row of supports under. Alright, Black Shadow, are you going to wait till dawn to do this craziness? Also, the skeletons are attacking stuff over here. The chests. Oh, poop. Oh, there's only one chest left. Cool. Alright. Really? I saw you time that. Dental my butt. Uh, 
Are you... Are you going down the stone bit or down the iron rails and trying to grind this thing the whole way? Grind all the way. Okie dokie. Uh, the roadway will continue somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'll deal with the roadway when I get to the roadway. That's a future splitsy problem. Looks like Black Shadow's about ready to go. Push? Do you want to push? Am I pushing? Okay, I can't push. I have to pull. Oh, can I? Can I pull? Whoops! So I feel like we're better farmers than we are, um, cart grinders. Black Shadow? Of <laughs> <laughs> course, I, the only way I can move it is the way that just pushes it straight off. Of course. Because why not? Ugh, game why. Um, yeah. Sorry, Black Shadow. I was I was legit trying to do that properly. It did. I uh, just failed. I'm just bad. Okay, so, next bit. It's gonna be this row of stone. But, something I've been trying to think of how I can make it work is how I make the... this railing on the bridge interesting from the outside. One of the thoughts I had was to try to make it wider and stick out. But I'm not sure... I'm not sure that's going to work. Or whether I just put in um, some decorative elements to the railing to make it more interesting, like um, putting in some little arches in certain spots. Say so for this part, it'd be... that directly above the bridge part. Do you have the proper building permits for this structure? I write, I write the permits. I write the rules. Um, but yeah, the because one of the things that I'm concerned about is that it just, you can't, you won't be able to tell from this side that it's a railing. Where the bridge deck is. Sort of thing. But I guess what I can do is put even parts that stick out a bit. Alright, Dragon, with two of us, we might be able to push Black Shadow's cart off without pushing her off the side.
Okay. Whoa! <laughs> How? How? Uh oh. Ow. <laughs> the teleport straight into the ditch. Oh, it's perfect. <coughs> oh, too good. Oh! What I sort of want to try doing is just this. So, step it out to there, and then also have the regular row. So these are just a bit fatter. It doesn't look too bad from on top, and we can put some decorative surface on top, but if we look at this while Black Shadow's stepping around over there, uh, if we look at this from out here, that gives it that little bit stuck out. Just gives us that little bit of an edge. Because <clears throat> I am a... Yeah, Tex, that's sort of the other thought, is do something similar to what I've done for highlighting the fact that there is a curved arch here. As just, just putting some timber along there. Which I don't have any on me. So, um... Need some help with something? <laughs> Yeah, I don't... I don't know about having those. I feel like there might be... We can have a couple of those in there. Uh, but I think having more than a couple will just create the same problem. Uh, what's awkward? <laughs> okay, that's gotten worse. How did you make that worse? I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, I mean that. Maybe the maybe the wood is the better, the way to go because it's it's cheap, it's quick, it's easy, and it, it actually does like, kind of look nice. And I'll put a few of these drains in once I've um side where the tower goes. They'd be too big though, Tex, for that. If like using using these tilted um like that, I feel like they might still be too big for a drain spout sort of thing. Yeah, it's just, it's oh. It's gonna be very hard to stick them into the wall properly, but yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, stop placing wrong. Oh, what's happened here? Weird on me. 
You going again, Black Shadow? Is that your plan? Oh, oh, Black Shadow. How about this? And you run down one line of one line of the thing. Let me eat more. <laughs> I know. I'm entirely responsible for my own undoing here. That didn't last long. <laughs> uh... Yeah. So I'm trying to think right now about the way that the tower is going to sit over this. And I need to make sure that I'm lined up with where the support is down the bottom. So that I'm not overreaching beyond where the support appears to come from. And I can go another block out. So I'm just thinking if Realistically, what we need is a two block wide gateway, I think. So if I go with, say, this, this, and that, and then start building the gateway from there, and then we match it on the other side, this should work, I think. Okay, um, I vote the next run goes down into the chests at the end of this ramp. Because <laughs> I think it might last longer. So I think at this size I might be able to get a bit of a stairwell going inside, at least to get up a little bit of height. Maybe. How far does this go across now? Uh, the gates are... I was going to make it open. Not an actual gate. It was just going to be an archway. And maybe I'll put a portcullis above it so that it looks a bit like it could lock, but it doesn't need to actually lock. Need more weight. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You guys ready? You ready? Hop in. Get ready to lag out. Well, that's a screenshot. Oh no, I lost my passengers. Well. Oh. Hang on. Can I stop moving? Uh oh. Uh. Questionably working? I 
I mean, it's a slow ride. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On my end, it just lagged through the rocks. <laughs> Shadow, you're such a distraction. Now, how on earth... I go about making it so that you can actually get up inside here. So that's way tight. Could literally only do a single stair in here and then you're stuck. Oh. Eh. It's fine. I'm not expecting anything important. So arguably Charlie is now going bananas inside. Does anyone have any tricky techniques? Oh. I can't even fit through there. Oh. Hmm. Rat! Oh. Oh, no. Does not seem to want to be upright. <laughs> there is something fun about watching see watching stuff just flop off the side. left myself enough room to do full-on towers out of stone up here. I'm trying to think what I could do. Because we're kind of running into the space engineer's problem of the blocks are just too big to do what I need them to do. Um, which kind of makes me tempted to just make these things hollow and not actually functional at all. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping to avoid having to do the angled bits going all the way down. Um. Because it's a lot of... <laughs> it's a lot. Uh... Have to do a bit of an overhang, you guys are right. Might be right. Oh! We had our first successful skate! So, in a lot of the bridges that I looked at, these angular parts that stick out on the pylons, they go all the way up to support a tower that sticks out and has that angle on it. But I kind of felt like having square towers. I didn't want to make them from... I didn't want to make the towers from wood. But... Actually, what I could do... 
is just make the corner posts of the towers out of stone and make the walls of the towers out of wood. That could work. So it'd be one of there. And then what we can do is these down and then start building up walls. I want to have a look at that in the morning before I do too much of it. And then do the same here. These end bits should probably be fully stone. Hopefully going to leave me enough room. You doing another run? <laughs> Is that your plan? I didn't do anything. You didn't see me. I was never here. Yes, there's a there's the tower will arch over the roadway. That's why it's so restricted in size. Cuz I'm going to have a little archway in the middle here. Admittedly, Tex, I actually also like that the hooligans are messing around doing that stuff. It's a really nice backdrop to the serious building. I like it. <laughs> it's like having something serious going on while the kids are playing around. It's brilliant. Some of us are helping. Yeah, uh, thank you, Canada, for moving the stuff that's under the bridge onto the bridge. That will save a lot of trips up and down. It is appreciated. Alright, so... Now, the thing I was thinking of doing, which I think chat suggested, was maybe trying to do a bit of a spiral stair here. On the inside of this bit. I do need to have a quick look at how it actually looks. It's so hard to tell in the dark. But I think it might look okay. Especially if I put some wooden posts going up the corner pieces as well. What under? Under what? Oh, you've been holding from the front yard. Oh. I thought this under. The stuff that's under the roadway. I thought that's what you were moving. Oh. 
But from what I understand, we should be able to do some sort of spiral stair off a central post. Just by using posts to walk up. Or... And plus give us what we need. Something even tighter. Hmm. Not sure. Let's see if we can climb this. Ah! Perfect. How steep did that go? <laughs> kind of just need to go to there and there. <coughs> but I just need it to be steep enough in between them that it doesn't pop into the next... But I can fit it in this tiny little space. So what I should do is place this up here. And try and line up the stair. Okay, does this work? I mean, sort of. You can traverse it. Yes, it works, maybe. Thanks, Methusiel. Yeah, it is a very small space in there. It's a problem. <laughs> yes. I totally built it to be a ramp for people to ride down. I mean, I sort of did. I guess, arguably. Snap to the right thing. Oh, broke my thing. Will you line the bridge with pikes adorned with the heads of those who slighted you? No. No. I want the bridge to be a welcome, not a GET OUT! Or... Leave all those... Yeah, I want it to be friendly. Uh, what am I doing? Preparing my hammer. Getting arrested bonus, because why not? Yes. Abandoned hope all ye who enter here. That was what I was trying to think of and it didn't come to mind. Yeah, Rush, I'm, I don't think anyone's going to need to climb up there apart from during the build phase, so as long as the system works, it doesn't need to work well. Now, so I'm quite happy with my jankified stairs. I think they'll do the trick. Dragged on expanding the bridge surface. Yeah, I probably should put this around. Interesting. 
Uh, I really wish that putting a beam across here did not block the door. It's quite annoying. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> now that I see what you're doing, yes. Thank you. I wonder how work on the theater is going. Delivered some timber to it the other day. Okay, so I think I need to design this arch before I go too much further. Just see if I can actually use these stairs at all, even if jankily. Yeah, I can get up here. Cool. So, my methodology for making arches. These ones do not need to be tall. These can be fairly... Fairly small. Um... I start from here. And then we go one... Nope, not that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go seven. Uh, dra whoever put those down there, not in the right spot. There's a wall that needs to be built up from the other side, but needs to get supports put in place first before I can build up that wall. Unfortunately... God, that doesn't work. Yeah, so that's the sort of width of this entryway that I'm planning. Did it wrong again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, that's gonna be way too way too wide. Let's try this again. One, whoop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe that'll work. So this arch is not meant to be a perfect curve. This one's going to meet at a point in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Yeah, it's going to be more of a gothic arch, exactly. popping out of that one and not that one. Yeah, oh well. Apparently it is correct. That's fine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I gotta count out loud, otherwise I say something else and then I lose my count. Or I just shut up and I, I'm wait. <laughs> it feels weird streaming and being silent for ages.
yeah, guys, uh, you can't build that side up yet. It's not supported yet. That's why I'm not building it up yet. There's lots to do before I can do that. Yeah, like that's the sort of shape I was thinking. What do you guys reckon? Should I go with the gothic arch? That's for some reason slightly wonky it looks like. I can't work out why. Why does that look wonky? That bar, that bar, those bars look, look the same. Yeah, is it just is it just the weird bit at the top that's making it look wrong? Or is it actually wrong? Let's get rid of these bits. That should help clarify things. No, now it looks right. Well, the gap won't exist because there'll be brick going across the whole way. Like, this is going to be stone, um... <laughs> Did you do that, Black Shadow? I'm impressed. I mean, I know you were talking about grinding the cart down the edge, but I didn't think you'd achieve that. You're amazing at parking. I'll remember that. No, probably won't, but... I might. So yeah, the idea is to have two archways like this. Uh, towers, one over here and one over the other side. And then, nice flat bridge section in between. And then we'll slowly have a slope coming down this side. I reckon this will look cool. Gradually add more timber stylings around the place. Because I do think it's nice to break up all of the stone. So the, the panels there are just a template to place the stone on. What I'll do is I'll place um, I'll place these around the edge of it as well once I've got the stone in place. But this will be a stone arch going up like that. A gothic arch. But yeah, we should, uh, I can start building the iron supports for the other side now. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the, co of the wood like that, Tex. Like, not in the slightest. <laughs> so I won't believe that. 
Um, bet Black Shadow was hoping I didn't see that. you die? Genuinely curious. So, I have a post where I need it on this side, but it's not at the correct height. So it's going to get weird about things. Yeah. Oh, actually, it shouldn't be too bad, because I can correct it off this one. I should probably build an extra one here as well. I may need to do the same on the other side. Yeah, so, so Tex, my, my thinking is not um, to leave it as unbroken stone, but to use the wood posts around the arch to highlight the arch, rather than using something that's, rather than making it completely, uh, what am I trying to say? Rather than making it that wood paneling, which I think looks a bit ugly. Also, it doesn't it feels kind of weird to have it full on wood because the whole rest of it's stone to me. Why are we talking about Yalmart? How did that become a thing in chat? Out of the loop. So Yalmart makes me think of Jojo Mart, which is not a probably a good thing to be associated with. That's not where I wanted that to be at all. How on earth am I gonna get this to snap where I want it to? Don't be like this. Let me do the thing. Oh. Trying to get an angle on this thing. Like, let alone getting a thing behind it to push up against. Uh, oh, I might have the angle from here. This is what I was talking about with... Um, the scaffolding getting in the way of more scaffolding. It's tricky at times. Oh, that sucks. Hope your internet comes back soon. I'm dead. Getting there? 
Should be alright. Oh, probably should have ran along the thing there instead of uh doing the thing. Can't hang Yalmar on me. I just walked into that one. Uh, I might just undo a little bit of what Dragon's done here. To give me an angle so I can work on it. Someone's going to have to make a Yalmart sign on one of the markets that I put in the marketplace. Now. Oh, I built that on the wrong row. Yeah, well. It's extra support, why not? It's probably not a bad thing. off. Whatever. Yeah, it'll be fine. Now I need to get a... I had a horizontal support that was running along the edge of these blocks on the other side. Seems to work. I am loving how much the bridge is taking shape as I do these bits. Yalmart, where you are encouraged to pay more than full price. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, now I have to build a giant wall from the bottom. I am so going to do that one day and it's going to be during a storm or during swell like this and the swell is going to be low and I'm going to kill myself. Ooh. See it now. Interesting. Uh, you can make arches if you mod the game with Valheim Plus. in there where I want it. Fill that tiny little gap. Is it gonna not like me? Well that's not right. That piece is wrong. Okay. Gap filled. I uh, can't really see a gap on that side. That's fine. Just pretend that it's not there. Oh, 
Oh, I'm going to be really happy once I get this first archway done. Because then it's, then it's a lot easier for me to do the double up on the other side. Because I've already tested the process. I know the, I know how to work it. I know how to make it supported and everything like that. I think I might move this stairway. I think it's in a really awkward spot. I've thought a lot about that stuff, Tex, and there's only so much that can really be done. I might drown. Come on, big wave! Big wave! Oh. <laughs> that was close. stairway thing like I've got on the other one. Side. Well, Tex, I think the texture elements will come from the wood pieces on it, and then extra detail bits to break up the flat will come from the braziers hanging off the side. The hanging braziers will add a lot of detail there. Is that a cart? Making all that racket and all that damage? All those damage markers? That is my guess. One of the things I'm kind of uh, mindful of with this is that we're in something like Minecraft, you are regularly forced to use large pieces to add depth to a fascia. Uh, in Valheim, you're not, which creates this kind of awkward situation where if you use something too big, it's really obvious that it's too big. And so I kind of want to build the thing up, add a few smaller decorative bits, and then see where it goes from there, rather than doing anything too big and hating it and having to undo the whole thing later. Okay, those should be full pieces. I feel like it's usually easier to add than it is to subtract stuff later. At least with a build like this, so far that's what I've discovered. Taking parts away once they're in place is oddly hard. I think it partially comes down to um, needing the like the brick support all the way to the ground. 
for the walls. So if you put walls that are too far out, you're then going to have to build the internal ones later. And I think it's probably easier to add external ones after the fact rather than the other way around. Yeah, and hanging banners will add a lot of detail. There are lots of little pieces like that that I think can be done that'll be hopefully enough with the fact that this is a round shape in Valheim, which kind of does a lot to break up the usual problems with flat surfaces. That sticks through, doesn't it? Really? And I mean, if you look at if you look at a lot of stone bridges from the medieval era, they're really flat, and yet they still look pretty. So there's a part of me that hopes that that's what's going to happen here. Oh, I don't have enough weight for that, do I? <laughs> Thanks for being a good distraction, Black Shadow. Looking forward to Monday. Now that I understand how to use the main mod that you set up for us. Or well, understand a bit of it anyway. Uh, there might be room text to be the troll under the bridge on that side when I build the arch over there, because it may be partially over land, which means we could put a bit of a hut in there for you. Then you can be a bridge troll. Unless, unless Dragnon wants to be the bridge troll, because, I mean, I did sort of steal this project from him after he stole it from Nev. Got the snap. There we go. We're a community of bridge trolls. Possibly. thought for a second I heard Charlie walking towards me. I might have to go check on her in a second, actually. She's been left inside unattended for a long time. It worries me. Pretty sure she'll just be sleeping in her, uh... in her favourite bed that was her Christmas present. Which she now very, almost never leaves. I think I had that snap. It's like one pixel where it snapped. There we go. That's any gap. Ah! Apart from that one, I fell in. It's just the shading some or is it or is that one misaligned? Is that one misaligned there? Yeah it is. Alright. Well spotted. Because it is not easy to see anything. Oh wait, I've still got you guys with like Uber Gamma on. I should probably fix that.
Snap where I want you to snap, you stupid thing. There we go. That's better. Uh, back here. We go that. We go filters. And we go off. Now you see how dark it was for me. Works. Played with the 20 different snap points from stone, you learn to see the tiniest gaps. Yeah. It does have an annoying habit of not snapping where you want it to snap. Especially when building out of these 2 by one pieces. And with scaffolding around. So cool. This is, this is almost. I think if I can have the archway, uh, and then maybe the railing on this leading side, next week when we do the regatta, I can open up the thing as the start of the stream, and then we hold the regatta maybe like an hour into the stream. I think would be the plan. See you, Canada. I mean, well, I presume you're still watching. Are you, you're just running out of. You just ran out of server time. Thank you for delivering the stuff all the people who've delivered stuff I'm very grateful for it because this brill this brilled this build would have been near impossible without it that is an odd place to dump that track on what are you doing I'm gonna be climbing up iron a sec Out of the way for now ish. Kinda. Maybe. Until I have to build the next bit of the scaffold. Hang on, I can grab some of that. Build a couple bits and I can grab some more. Okay, those two are very wrong. <laughs> Brick the wrong thing. Almost as high as the other side now, and I'm very happy about it. <laughs> Thank you, Canada. Thank you for seven months, man. Uh, stare. And this place, this bridge is falling down. No, it is not falling down. My bridge is fine. <laughs> God, I. 
Imagine if we'd attempted to build something like this and still had the raids on. Oh man. I'm so glad I disabled them. Slash asked Nev to disable them and then he did it. So I still hadn't worked out how to do anything on the server yet. I really need to move the stone cutter up here now. Sudden nightmare scenario of deleting the wrong iron beam and the center of the bridge starts falling block by block. Yep. That is one of my fears. Oh, I'm bringing the stone cutter up. <laughs> Danger bridge out. I feel like that's facing the wrong way. down here for? Oh, that's right, the stone cutter. Should I just build another one? Because I think I've got the stone cutter. Oh no, it's on the outside. Yeah, I can move this one. Do I have enough space? Maybe not. It's the right way for kart racing. Ah, I see. That makes... Yep, that makes sense. It's for coming down the hill, not going up the hill. Let's try placing this over here, I think most out of the way. That's yellow. Lucky not much more gets built on that bit. Oh dear. Does anyone else see what the problem is here? They're not at the same height. I don't know how that's happened. Oh crud. <laughs> No one sees a thing. This is where the wood on the outside will be helpful. Hide my sins. Take two rows off, you think? Oh, yep. Yep, you're right. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Okay, that's not too much. That's doable. Yep, tear down, start over. And now, 
Oh, you see. <laughs> Why this process takes me so long. That's what they say about painting. It covers a multitude of sins. Yes. Although painting brings its own sins if you're not good at it. Uh-oh. No! No, what have I done? No! Oh, I've got to build a scaffold to get up there. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Ow. Go about getting up there. All right, we do this. Oh, what? Dragnon's done. Fine. Show off. So this was the road where I, the row where I stuffed it up. I'm going to go down to this end where there's nothing I can snap to and build from here. Or less that I can snap to that's wrong. Well, there's one way to go down. Slow way to go down, but it works. I'll try standing to try and tip it up so that the Did you try pushing the cart down backwards, Black Shadow? Because then it should run better, or does it flip over too easily? Try that when I get back. Oh, if only the lag didn't make you fall out of the cart too easily, I would... It would be kind of fun to... Well, it would have been good for the silver collecting we did to have used that as a method to get them... Get the carts back. Get the stuff back, I should say. Okay. Momentary distraction. Oh yeah! Oh no! 
Too hard. Yeah, that kind of works. Bit more speed. What have you done, Dragnon? <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> Space saving. Yep. Job. Sure. You can see why when I do this, um, it needs to have the the wood stuff on the outside. Because you kind of lose the arch as I have to fill in the gaps with the bricks. You lose the shape of it, so that's why I need those bits of uh, wood on the outside to give us some actual car uh, curving form. Will there be a cart race? <sighs> it's not really a good bridge for a cart race because you can't get more than one cart through the archways. Um, I think you'd struggle to have like a concurrent race, but I guess you could have a... You could do like various difficulties of cart where they're loaded up with certain things and it's how quickly can you get to the other side of the bridge. And even better, make it a two-person thing. So you have to carry someone in the cart who's carrying all the heavy stuff. When, and the per it's when the person carrying the stuff can put the stuff into a chest at the far end. Yeah, the heavy person in a cart thing works, I think, quite well in when you've got a couple of people and there's not much lag. But as soon as you get much lag, it's... It's not great. Like, I, I could probably do it with, say, TFE relatively easily, because he, he and I have minimal latency to, to each other. But I doubt I'd be able to do it properly with Black Shadow. So that's wrong. Must be bad if I'm the example of minimal latency. Well, you kind of are, TFA, because we are in the same country, even if we're not on the same island. One missing here, Dragon. Let's see if I can get it. It's 
That's wrong. There we go. Yeah, you sometimes have to delete a bit of the wall to get the bits in, and then you can put them back in from the other side. It's really annoying. Gothic Stone Arch. Now I'm thinking I'll just have the stairs on one side. Uh, I'm just going to have to get a bunch of that first. How am I going to support the archway? Probably. I'm, we're using Valheim Plus. Uh, that's what's giving the rotation. I think. I'm just trying to think this through so that I can get. Should I just have these two stone pieces like this? And then do the rest of it in timber on the inside? Or should I try and get the. Um, the arch to come out for like should I run stone along the whole lot of it that's what I'm trying to decide right now could put this on the inner part of but couldn't I? I actually have enough material for this too. I've got like four tar or a couple more than that in my base. So I could make these gates. And that would work. Alright. Uh, so... How best to do this? Think how to go about copying this arch on this side without having to do it all manually again. I don't think there's an easy -ish way. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to have to build it out of wood again. But at least I can just do the snap and then snap the next one on. Shifted it out half a block. What do you mean, Dragon? Oh, I wouldn't put a coal wood thing there. That's going to look weird. I wouldn't put any sort of post and don't put anything that runs across this surface here either. I think it'll look real wonky. Oh, you think have the arch? I mean, we still could. We could just double it, double it up, like have it overlap the pieces. It's going to be a pain in the butt to snap, but it, it theoretically doable.
Yeah, the copy orientation makes this so much quicker. I'm so glad that I was told that that is actually working on the server. Because I thought a lot of those advanced controls needed a separate thing to be enabled, and that I hadn't worked out whether I wanted to enable it or not. Makes a big, big difference. I have no idea if that one placed correctly. Oh yeah, it looks right. Oh man, I keep turning auto pickup off, thinking it might be off already, uh, but it's really just <laughs> the lag and uh, stuff getting dropped on the ground when I break things. Put a stone cutter in the way. Uh, the other thing, Dragnon, that I was thinking of doing to highlight the arch so it stands out more, rather than it being just physically actually out further, was using the one meter beams and going around the outside edge of the arch. Like this. Which is the same as I'm doing on the main archway. So that gives us the really prominent arch. And then we can do the whole Viking cross thing in the middle, if we want. Uh, the gap at the top, yeah, maybe just cross over two little beams if it lets us. I'll have to see if it'll let us. Oh, there's no workbench in range. <laughs> when I'm standing up here. Uh, would you mind quickly popping one down if you can? Thank you. <laughs> what the random orientation. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, let's copy... Oh, no. Copy the correct one. Let's see if I can get this to snap through the other one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to look nice. Yeah. Gothic cross viking. I like that. And yeah, this is, this is the sort of stuff that I think adds enough detail to break up the flat surfaces effectively. That. Huh? What did you... Oh, no! I fell. What did you see, Laws, that I missed?
I got some shots earlier of the um, the market, the longhouse, and the smithy from this distance. Uh, that's not right. Those are so annoying to place once everything else is here. Ooh. I do like this extra little bit of thickness you've done on it. Yeah. But I also like having the wood thing. I wonder if doing both of them is too much. What do you guys think? Chat? This extra thickness that sticks out beyond this bit of wall is really nice, but we have to do something to hide the top gap with it. So it's still going to need some that wooden cross at the top, and I think once you do the wooden cross at the top, you, you kind of need to go the whole way down. Will it hide the gap enough? But then is it just overdoing it? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can do something. I guess. Yeah. I have an idea. Snap where I want you to snap, would you? I do like the wood, but I am wondering whether we can get away without needing it. I, I, I kind of like the wood, but I want to try this as well. Especially since Dragnon's managed to get it. Uh, Ow, that was very close to dead. Yeah, I can't... I was trying to get this to snap in the gap between the two, but I can't manage to get it to. Right after you place the first X on the first side, Twilight, you're rotating around with one foot higher than the other, gazing off into the distance. If not for the... Ah, oh, right. Yeah, I thought it must have been something like that, Loz. Did I just completely block you from placing your block then, Dragnon? <laughs> Thanks, Tommaso. Thank you for thank you for fifteen months. Nope, that is the wrong rotation. get it. The only other th option I can think of is doing something like, if I can get this as close to pixel perfect as possible, something like that. Not right. Thought I had it somewhere. How did you get the other ones to do this, Dragnon?
I'm blocking. Alright, I'm getting out of the way. See if you can do it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that sticking out that far, I think. I'd rather see if we can get it smooth. Yeah, that's why I want it... Uh, that's another reason to want it smooth, that it's, is that it's not going to be centred. You can't actually get it centred. Unless you remove the other bricks and place it first, but then I don't know how you'd get it accurate enough. Thanks, Mako. Thank you for four months. Uh, I have an idea. Is there a way to get... Um, how do we get something snapped to halfway along? How do you do a quarter block snap? There's some way to do it with doors, I think. Uh, oh, right. Using angles, you can possibly get it. Yeah, nice. Alright, let's pop those out. Let's have a look at this from the ground. Okay, so we've got this option, which is with the stones out. And then on this side, we've got this option with the wood. Uh, let's do a quick poll, actually. Let's do a quick poll. I'm going to take a quick bio break and go check on the dog. Which arch? Extra stone... Or wooden cross. Let chat decide. I'll be back in just a moment. Enjoy some floating capex. <laughs>
Apologies, Capac volume is really loud, loud, is it? Wait, was that... Was that no audio at all? Hmm. Is this better? Apologies about that. I hadn't realised that I hadn't, um... Adjusted the volume correctly for that. So, uh, apparently, none of you guys can make a decision about the bridge either. Because <laughs> it's exactly 50-50 split. Oh no, it's leaning a bit towards the, the wooden cross now. Nope, going back. 17 to 18, 18 to 18. Yes, Charlie, you're with me now. Because you were accidentally shut in the house. The wind had blown the door shut. That's an interesting attempt as well, Dragon. I think... <laughs> so, the votes were 25 in favour of the wooden cross and 21 in favour of the extra stone. So it's pretty close, which I'm not surprised by because it is a difficult thing. I think, unfortunately, once you add the wood to the extra stone, it kind of defeats the purpose of the extra stone. It does like it, it sort of takes away what the stone does. Because the stone, the wood is there to try and achieve what the extra stone does, which is bring it forward and highlight the arch. Having both, you can no longer see that there's extra depth from the stone. You lose it, you see just as much depth from the extra wood that's out there, in a way. I think let's go for the wood. Largely so we don't have to do this three more times. <laughs> but the um, the extra stone, I'm kind of impressed that this is possible. Because it means we can use this potentially somewhere else. Well, no... I, I don't want them... I don't think I'll like having them not the same. Tex, don't worry, you can say whatever you like. I'm completely ignoring that statement. Because <laughs> this is... Honestly, without the towers, the bridge is going to... Ouch. The bridge is just going to look empty. And there's no real way to do the towers without having them a bit crowded. And it's sort of a security checkpoint as well, so it should be a bit tight. I 
I can see where you're coming from, but I just don't think it's... Uh, I don't think it's a problem. Or I feel like the other problems that it's there to mitigate are more important. Probably a better way to say it. I'm more worried about other things that end up looking weird. Alright, where on earth in this did I have the iron poking through? So I need to get some more iron support up here. And I'll I'll definitely be putting more wood trims and things around as well. And depending on where they are, I may even put wood iron trim. I just got to be careful about it because we don't have half like one meter length wood iron trim. So if I do that, I end up You end up making a bit of a mess of it. <laughs> Indeed, laws. Yes, best way of enunciating the splitsy text fire discussion is right here in the tags. Backseating allowed, but also backseating may be ignored. I like a good discussion around this stuff, but I'm also going to pretty much always have my own mind, like my own perspective on it. Because it'd be really boring to watch this if I didn't. Nice, Eisen. No, <laughs> it was not in the least bit intended like that, Tommaso. <laughs> uh, no, no keystone. Oh, actually... Hang on, Dragon, let's try the... Sorry, that was a really annoying time for me to say that. Um... Do you reckon we can try the keystone with just the st the wood going around the other bit and then try the keystone instead of the cross? I'm just wondering whether it'll work. Or whether it'll look just weird. Nope, the arch opening is not wide enough for two carts to pass by, by one another. The rest of the bridges. Yeah, Tex and I have spent enough time building stuff together in Space Engineers, I think. It'd be odd if we weren't at the point where we could be like, Nah. I don't like, I, your idea is not what I want to do. I feel like if you can't have those sorts of discussions with people, it's really hard to build with them. Should give us the support I need for it. Of course, now it goes dark. Yep. Always.
Aizen, you made me so tempted to say something so rude then. <laughs> I just barely restrained myself. Because <laughs> I knew you were being a intentionally obnoxious. Uh. Did I la die last game day? No, I didn't. I would. I haven't died here for a while. I've fallen off. I've fallen off though, so that is an accident. If you wanted to put more sugar-laced veneer on it, one could say your idea is great. I don't want to do it, but I'm sure you'll make it look great in your own builds. Yep, that's fair. That is probably a better way of saying these things too. And also probably good practice for me to get into being able to say things that way. <laughs> um, with a small person, I probably shouldn't do... I don't know. Does chat think that falling off counts as an accident? Even if you don't die. Is it hilarious? Then it's an accident. Your logic is sound, I guess. Out of iron again. Oh, poop. I really should do a quick uh, calculation of how much I can pick up rather than just randomly picking a number. with so many things in it. Probably just load the card up. You are right. Eh. That's fine. That'll be hidden. So, which way lines up off this? Nope. Oh, I'm going to have to do this bit by bit. this to... I think I want it this way around. I think that'll look nicest. What's that snapping to? Don't... Uh... Arr, I don't know what to do here. The Black Shadow. What I kind of want is to put these in the middle of this. So they're not sticking out. I might just free place the first one. Hope it works. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.
So I really want to kind of there, and then I'll snap the rest of them to it. If I can get anything to snap to it at all. So my idea with this was that at least this way we kind of get these nice little support timbers running across it. Yeah, like, I think that's going to be the nicest look on the inside. I've just got to hope that I get the two sides close enough to each other that you can't tell that they're not actually exactly the same. How's it going up there, Dragnod? Um, Dragnod, do you need one of these circlets? Or do you have one? I just can't see it. Yeah, I think this is this is gonna look the best. I oh, know I'm I'm was more offering to get you one if you would like one. To allow you to continue to help with building this. That's going to hate me for this stop me from actually getting through this door once I place it. Well, poop. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Uh, hmm. How can I get these higher? Just need to not put a door there for a while. We can just put a door in at the end to cover it up, but you can't actually access anything. <laughs> that was exactly what I was thinking, Laws. Investing in a circlet for one of my construction workers. Close to this tower being done. It's done enough to pass. Alright, Dragon's got this in, and it's morning. And I almost died. Ooh. That really looks quite nice, doesn't it? I really like that. 
I do really like the um, the Viking cross thing, but that looks nice. That looks more complete. Uh, the wood appears not to come in symmetrically, and maybe it actually doesn't, or is it just that the s remember the <clears throat> the stones in Valheim are not square; they're all a bit wonky, so. Lots of things don't look quite right, but actually are, and it, they don't really look quite right because the game just doesn't have perfect stones. Yeah, the... Oh, Dragnon! <laughs> that was very close to dead. Uh, would you like some food? There you go. Go get some more food. Yeah, I'm I'm with Dragnon's new thing. I think that's the best option. Plus, I think he's the one doing it. Did my cart that was down here get destroyed? Yes, it did. There's cargo on the ground. Great. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, the stone in this is just like... Yep. You are not going to be able to get exactly what you want, but if you don't get exactly what you want, it's still probably going to look okay. Because it is rough, and so it hides a lot of the sins of things not being properly aligned and the like. I managed to underfill this enough that I can actually get it up this hill. Yeah, and I think... For most of our purposes, it's it's perfectly fine that the stone is rough hewn. Like especially when you're looking at my planned palatial walls. Compared to those, the stones are basically perfectly smooth. do I have as another easy health meal? What am I doing? Getting rid of the seeds. Oh, I've got a few more of those. Honey? What else goes in that stew? Blood bag thing. Black soup. Honey and turnips. Like a bunch. Yeah. So, one of, one of the things I... I'm trying not to let impact what I do with the bridge too much, but it certainly does cross my mind when building it, is the more I try and make certain bits perfect, the more I'm going to fail. Because it's so 
so big a build that something's always going to be not quite right. And so when thinking about like adding extra depth to the sides of the bridge, I kind of balk a bit when I think about it in terms of if I add a decent amount to that, what I'm probably going to end up with is something that's tall and look trying to look really correct and just broken. Because it was really, really hard for me to get the angles on the base of the pylons right, or even vaguely right, and I was worried that as I continued it up, it was just going to look so much worse. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at that. How cool is that? Even though it's not centered at the distance in that LOD. That looks cool, though. I love it. Yeah. Nice one, Dragnon. Very nice. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now I have to try and make this as close to the one that's on the other side as possible. It is already not right. got something to line up off. No, that's too far out. I was closer though. wrong too. Dang it! <laughs> oh, this is going to be so hard. Has anyone got any tips on how to figure this out? So I didn't. I should have... Oh, that's what I should have done. I should start with a centerpiece and just work down both sides from there. That's what I should have done. Yes, I agree it needs a portcullis, and I'm going to make a bit of a portcullis out of some iron. That's closer, but it's still the wrong height. Maybe I'll do it this way, maybe I'll start with the vertical one. So I've got a really easy marking to go off. It's the how far it is off the stone. The horizontal piece. But I can't place it low. <sighs> and this is where the wonky stone's making my life really difficult. Seem about right. It's still higher. Nope. That's how this is making me feel. Uh... 
Holy moly, this is so irritating. <laughs> I do not know how to do this better. Dragnon. Your keystone fell off. We might need some iron for that. Oh man, okay. Oh. Is that where the problem is coming from? Do that. Take the thing. Ah. Yes, it works. Ah, finally. I think that looks alright. I really like how this looks. I agree with, um, like, Tex's concern about the whole... It's a, um... It narrows the bridge, unfortunately, but I... I just don't think there's any way around it. Without building out extra pillars either side of the bridge. Which then makes the whole thing... I think maybe even bigger than I want it to be. Ah, uh, yes. The security on the bridge, bridge is confusing, but it's fine. It's fine. Where's my tar? I have five tar. Four should allow me to build those gates. Oops. <laughs> uh, going... <coughs> Excuse me. Going a bit gothic for the those archways. Mostly to do something different. Yes, <laughs> it may become a bit portly indeed. Uh, and I think the narrowness of the of the pylons wouldn't work with the whole thing being wider. I think it would then have a bit of a an odd dimension to it. Okay. So for these, I need four iron. Each. Ooh, 
Okay, that's going to be a bit tricky. Oh wait, I'm done this way. This will work. Yeah. Then we go with a darkwood gate. Another darkwood gate. And it's an arch within an arch. Yeah, the arches were never going to be the same. That's fine. Um, something I was thinking, Dragon, on that might help. Did you get some iron support in for that? For that block that broke? Slash, do you need me to put some in? No, I haven't done any yet. <laughs> I can put some in momentarily. Dave? Go back to your comfy bed, don't you? That's why you're being all needy now. You're like, come on, let me back in the house. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I think it works for now. Dali, it is very hard to use my mouse when you are resting your head on my hand. It's very difficult indeed. Yes. And I know you think it's super cute because you always get a reaction when you do it. Wonder, will me trying to take a photo of you doing this chase you away? Because it often does. Hmm? I can show, can I show stream you being a little, a little bit difficult? I can see the weird watermarks on my desk mat. Seriously dog, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh. Oh, no. She really doesn't like having a camera pointed at her. She doesn't like sitting still for it, do you? Let me see if I can send this through to Discord so I can... Oh, it's... <laughs> what do you want, dog? You're making me it impossible to do anything. Seriously. You want it out. I'll let you out. I'm being very insistent. Sit. Holy moly. Distracto dog. Yes, it's bad enough when a cat rests. Charlie's head is... It'd be several kilos of dog head. Or at least a kilo and a half of dog head.
Forge is a bit far away. Ah, okay. Let me go see if I can bring it up. Oh, you had to bring that up, didn't you, Gruz? I get here and the first thing I hear is Splitzy trying to get a photo of the Lego munching house horse. Oh, Charlie. I'm chewing my Lego. Uh... Oh, interesting. The audio has lag. The explosion happens when the stuff comes. I hadn't realized that'd be a thing. There you go, that should help. What you doing out there, Nubbles? Um. Hmm. I was... The reason I wasn't doing... Oh, you verticalized the arches. Well, that, is just, that does look kind of nice. Maybe we could use that to expand the towers a bit. With some iron. Yeah, maybe. I didn't think of using the arch the other way. Yep. I'm happy with this. I will let it stew. Placing bits that Dragnon's intentionally removing at the moment. Trying to get his supports in. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that these, like, support bits are visible on this side. I wanted them to be support. <laughs> uh... No, thank you, please, no. No random broken bits. Uh, so I still need to get that. You got an iron support in, it looks like. Maybe? No, that's that. I need to get you an iron support. Right. Yeah, we need a few sconces. Might have to do a... Uh, might have to do a bit of a run for some copper... Are you trying to get a good snap point for support? So I think we could probably do it off... Hang on. Uh, I'll do it from this side then. So I'm not in the way. Get in there. There we go. That. That should be supported. Now. Yeah. Somehow the other side's supported, but I th and I think that's because there's maybe more support running through it. Running through the pieces underneath it. Oh, we are going to need more horizontals running across here anyway. Yes. As long as it doesn't randomly pop.
Duh. Uh, if this will give it a little bit of support on this side as well. Unfortunately, I got the wrong part of it. We have to do that. Nope, that's not right. So it's on top of the block, so it's not actually going to provide that block any support. Um, let's kind of get underneath. Maybe do... That. Yeah, there we go. It's yellow now. And it's gone green. Awesome. Sorted. Building the walls around this is going to be a pain, but... <laughs> it's sorted. So, I think what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to start prepping for the regatta. This is, this is something that I should be able to just build up the brick sides of, and I'll build some crenellations along the top and some crenellations along the sides here, probably. But we might mess with the crenellations during the next stream. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and... Let's decide where the raft race, the raft regatta should start. Because then I'll set up a portal there. Dark Ladder, if you think I'm building this bridge to make things easier, that is the very exact opposite of what I'm doing here. I'm building this bridge because I think it's cool. It has almost zero function beyond aesthetics. <laughs> this is a purely aesthetic bridge and it's just to see if I can build something this scale that looks cool with the help of everyone on the server delivering massive amounts of materials. Yeah, this is, this is Greebling. This is just building something cool. So it's, it's something where it's completely irrelevant if something is easier. Because it doesn't matter. This wasn't done because it's it to be sensible. <laughs> and yes, you can't transport metals through portals, so you do need a bridge. But, or you can go the long way around. But yeah, it's, it's nothing to do with good sense uh right so raft regatta from the point or across the ocean that is the question It's probably still going to be pretty slow. Like, I'm just trying to think... I'm trying to look if there's anywhere that has... Ocean to cross... That's closer than that. And I don't... Really see a good option. I mean, we could go from, say, there... And then people have to cross a short bit of ocean... Before coming down... Round to here. Um... And because I do agree... The sea monsters do add a certain flair. Oh, Laws, I'm expecting that everybody turns up to this regatta completely in their briefs. Nothing more. Because you are going to have such a high chance of dying on the highs on the high seas. <laughs> so eat just before the start and go with 
just enough materials and a hammer to build a raft. That's it. Maybe take a cheap bow if you want to take a basic bow to shoot at the serpents. But honestly, I think your best chance of surviving the serpent is that someone else distracts it and gets eaten by it. Oh yeah, that's a fair point. If no one makes it across the ocean, can you have a second crack at it? I guess so. There's no reason you can't. Well, JMD, that's precisely why we're doing this race next week before we've even fought motor. So no one can use the motor buff because it doesn't exist. Um, I guess we could start down here and go across because it's a bit of a shorter ocean. But I've there's something about like starting in the middle here or something or just so that people have to get through a little bit of stuff. Um, hmm. Yeah, we've got silver weapons, but we haven't fought the mountain boss yet. Yeah, let's just do the open. Let's do the open water. It's nice, simple. Open water and then things will get tight in here. So, I need to make myself a boat. And I need to get over there. And have a look. Because, yeah, I, th I do agree. Ocean's going to add something. Is that Black Forest? Maybe that little island up there could be a spot. Then you've got sort of. Then you've got these reefs that stick out here that could be <laughs> a place for people to get snagged at. And I've got to learn before next week how to do the god mode flying shenanigans. So that I can spectate the thing properly. Because I will not be participating in the race, I will be commentating and observing the race. Longship bits. And that's actually all I need. Yeah, may as well get a rest of buff while I'm in here. Admin control of wind and weather. I don't even know if that works on the server. Just waiting for the 20 raft pile up mid ocean when we all collide due to lag. Yep. I'm expecting similar. Uh, where do I build this thing? Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Come on, get your head in the game. I need to take the stuff for a portal. And I need to build a portal that's going to bring me back. Uh, do I have enough fine wood at the moment? Oh, that's okay though. I'll use the stuff from the other boat. Twenty grey dwarf eyes. Or twenty one. Because I can't click things.
Nah, Eisen, I specifically want them to finish at the main at the main arch because I think that's a nice, really good finishing point where I can be looking down over it, and the first raft that passes there is the winner. And bringing something back as proof doesn't work because someone could have a portal there that helps them. Speaking of portals, West Mining Outpost. Um, let's just shove the... Oh, that's where we can do it. Yeah, we have a regatta portal. I'm still really happy with this space and how it feels. Uh, we will not be enabling PvP damage. There'll be enough damage from cr boats crashing into each other. And I, again, that's why it's a raft regatta. Not a carve or something that people might be a bit upset with losing some of their stuff for. Well, it makes it cheap and everyone can, can can compete if they want. It's really not hard to get the materials together for a raft. And I'll, I'll try and accumulate a few chests worth of what's needed for a raft. So if people want to join in but can't, at least they'll be able to... Like, as in, don't feel like they've got... Easy access to that stuff, but I think rafts are like dirt cheap, aren't they? Leather scraps, that could be the only painful bit for some people. Wait. Away with you. Long ship. Oof. Yeah, I figured a few people will have heaps of leather easily available. I've got a little hut that I've already built over here, but I'm not sure whether it's the right spot to begin the regatta. I guess there's a downside of starting it in a river, in that it's going to be really hard for people to build their raft quickly, because there'll be other people in the way. So I might, uh, I might just keep it out on the open, because I was thinking of moving from the camp here and moving down here, but I think that'll possibly just make things awkward rather than fun. I think this will be fine. I'll just make sure there are a few crafting tables so that people can easily rush to the shore and pop their raft in. Um, no, I, I don't think I want to have a boardwalk to start from. I think we just go with it. Rushing off the beach. Racing back to civilization. I mean, you can see how quick a longship can do this if it's got favorable wind. <laughs> the longship's like two or three times faster than a raft, right? I think far side of the island will just take too long and instead of the race being fun and interesting I think it'll just get frustrating is my worry
Huh. Does have a bit of the Australia feel with the Great Australian Bite and a bit of Tassie. Now that's parking. Hmm. Uh, just had a thought. Portal in the tower? People have to run through the Black Forest and there might be annoying nasties there. Max raft speed is long ship paddle speed. I think I think this could work. I'll put the crafting benches down by the like at the start of the stream what I'll do is just put some naked crafting benches along the shoreline so that there's plenty and people can just rush to whichever empty bit there is. And go from there. There we go. Need some timber and I can... And we should be good. Might just rip down this thing that's been seemingly been smashed apart while I've not been here. I came here ages ago to get some tin. I built this shack. As you can see. Yeah, I'll leave it. It's fine. Fresh timber. Uh, there's a part of me that likes the idea of giving people a choice of which path to take, but then there's the other part of me that remembers that keeping track of who's where, where you have multiple paths, and trying to... Um, Oh, if there was a troll as people arrived, that'd be hilarious. Oh, that'll be so funny. But yeah, the, uh, I like the idea of having different paths at first glance, but once you realize that, you know, it starts separating the, the people, the competitors, quite a bit, it starts becoming a bit of a problem, because then it's hard to track who's where, it's hard to see what's going on, and you can end up missing a lot more of what's happening, which is obviously not what we're after. I kind of want to see what happens. work. Um, yeah, Tex, I'm prepping for the regatta for next week. Next week it's ship race time.
And I think this will work pretty nicely as a an arrival point. So when before the race has begun, I'll prep this like this, so people just run straight through this and down to the shoreline. And I'll build a bunch of crafting tables along the shoreline, so let's put a chest with some timber in it so I can do that. It's the plan to Rapunzel everyone and then let them out at once. I mean, I could do that. Have them all... Have everyone portal here and watch from here and open the doors and let them push me out of the way. That could actually be quite fun. Rather than portaling here and having the portal go all weird. Which could happen. Hmm. Yeah, portal lag might bias the results too. That's true. Alright, yeah. Let's do that. I like that idea. Nice one, Gross. In fact, I might put a palisade up and I'll break it. Although it is kind of more funny to have everyone push past me through the door. That's enough for two. We need probably probably want to have enough wood for like four four um crafting benches. Where's a the fur? There it is. That's one. There's enough wood for four of them, that that should cover enough shoreline for everybody. Since realistically, getting more than 15 races on is going to be a bit of a challenge. And I've been thinking about it, and I think... My idea that I mentioned last week might actually be an effective, a good option, which is the winner of the raft race gets their playtime reset that week. things to myself. Top three. Um, don't know. I'll think about that. I was thinking of just doing it for the winner. Because I, I actually don't know how painful it is to do. I know Nev said that it's possible, but I, I don't know how painful it is to do. My sconce is broke. And I don't have my forge here anymore. Wait. Ooh. That was kind of cool. Um, so yeah. Next week we'll have the raft regatta. Uh, I should be back tomorrow with some more grounded in the evening over on Flipsy and I will definitely be back on Monday with some more Minecraft create mod madness with uh, with Black Shadow which I'm really looking forward to because I now understand how to make the contraptions that the mod is intended for and they are really quite cool I made an elevator in creative and it worked so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with some more granite. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Have a great day, everybody.